Alrighty, guys. What is an Efreeti's favorite alcoholic drink? Alrighty, guys. I'm afraid. What so. is an Efreeti's favorite alcoholic What's up, everybody? Good evening. Welcome to the game room. I'm Luke the DM, and it's my job to kill everybody. Tonight, we have some high seas, high drinks, as this episode has been preemptively titled, I think. Um, some fun, some, some maritime adventures. Uh, but first, we have a few announcements to get through. Um, as always, guys, if you're hanging out, if you're enjoying this, if you want to be a part of this, definitely take a look at the Game Room Discord channel. It's sort of this active chat room. Super active. We have a lot of people that stop by and just chit-chat about all sorts of different things. We talk about D&D. We talk about board games, video games. We've got like a computer help chat. Something for everybody. Um, we're growing bigger every day. We actually just recently did a little revamp to it. Made it look nice and pretty. Thank you very much, WeeWoo. It looks fantastic. Um, so definitely uh, click that link if you guys want to be a part of that. While you're there, check out our merch tab and our Etsy store. We have lots of really cool stuff. We're working on getting some more stuff in there, but we have, you know, very cool Tea Leaf Adventuring Company logo shirts. We have game room shirts. We've got mouse pads, coffee mugs, stickers. I think we just got buttons recently. Um, if they're not in there yet, they will be soon. But lots of really cool stuff. So definitely check that out. You know, rep that game room swag gonna be awesome oh check it out check it out he's got the mouse pad nice i dig it beautiful um what else what else what else um oh yes uh stay tuned guys i know we announced it last week uh but it's in the works we're we're working out how exactly we want to do this but tea time is coming uh, probably sometime in the next two to three weeks or so, we're going to have, I think it's going to be a Sunday night. That's usually like our community night. Uh, and we're going to invite members of the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company to come and kind of chat with us on stream. Uh, you know, quick little five, 10 minute, I don't want to call it an interview because I don't want it to be so formal. Just sort of a casual talking about your character or your experience with D&D &D or just sort of whatever comes naturally with the conversation. We just want to be able to get to know our players a little bit more and kind of invite our Twitch audience to, to also join us for that. And just a reminder that if you do choose to participate in that, you will earn a bonus tea leaf point because that's cool. And I like giving out tea leaf points because you guys do funny things with them. And then it's awesome. harder to kill you. I'll take one um, now if you want, if you want to give them one. Uh, maybe, maybe. All right, it's fine. <laughs> um, speaking of tea leaf points, guys, this time, 6 p.m., in 168 hours from right now, one week, we have our first mission unlocked by our dear friend Wolf Among Sheep, who's playing Shiana, that creepy one with the British accent. Um, that's going to be a fantastic time. Not to take anything away from tonight's adventure, because tonight's going to be epic, but next week's going to be like... How epic. I'm putting, some, I'm putting a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this. It's going to be a good time. Um, and it's going to be a good opportunity for you guys to kind of see what a background story will entail. Kind of exactly what goes into all of this. So I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Hope to see you there. Uh, it's going to be a good time. I can't wait for that. It's going to be awesome. I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked. I, I just got finished um, polishing uh, certain aspects of it that i don't want to spoil i'm deciding but That's there's gonna be some fancy bells and whistles um it's gonna be a good time anyway enough of my yapping are you guys ready for tonight's epic tea leaf adventuring company quest heck yeah All yeah man right so let's go ahead and get this party started so Tonight's adventure begins as we almost always do in the beautiful free city of Kadoria on the lonely peninsula and on the corner of the two main streets, the busy, bustling 
main thoroughway of Avandra's alley intersects with Melora's way running to the south in that central square known as uh, prime real estate corner property sits the three-story mansion that serves as the Tealeaf Adventuring Company Guildhall. And in that beautiful, luxurious Guildhall, inside there rests a beautiful, resplendent lounge with comfy sofas and recliners and nice little nooks to sit and quietly read uh, small tables for board games or card games, a giant uh, banquet-style long table full of the most delicious food. Our heroes find themselves on a bit of a relaxation day. There's the, the, the company's been picking up a little bit, and contracts are coming in, and you guys have noticed uh, your fellow adventurers uh, being contracted and going out and accomplishing great things. And you're eagerly awaiting your next one. Um, I guess. What are you guys doing for for fun? What do you guys? How how do how do your characters spend their downtime here? We'll say it's it's like an hour before dinner at this point. Whoever would like to. I know that Cricket is desperately trying to find Lucky right now, <laughs> wherever he may be. All right. Uh, yeah, Lucky would be, hmm, what would he be doing an hour before dinner? Um, probably just sitting around, trying to find, maybe playing with dice. Just, just playing, but not really gambling or anything, just kind of tossing them around. A little okay. easily amused Shiny bit there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, she's gonna run up to, to him. I don't know if he, are you playing with anybody else that's here or is anybody else playing with him, I guess? So it's funny that you mentioned that. Uh -oh, the guild oh hall in and of itself, you've gathered from your short time here that there are certain enchantments that make this residence, this structure um behave differently than other buildings you've noticed. Uh, be it the garden that's a rainforest in and of itself in the central courtyard that's way bigger than it ever should be, or the fact that you all have your own unique individual personalized rooms that are kind of can change on your whim. You you get the sense that um, the something about the lounge only permits certain people at certain times, and you've not quite sure how that works out, but you've noticed that sometimes it's harder to find other people than other times. Oh. Okay. Magic Scoofy. Yeah, uh, Cricket doesn't get it at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she's going to run up to him, uh, run up to Lucky while he's playing, um, and she's got a backpack in hand. Lucky, Lucky, this is for you! Uh, what? 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 Just, just take it. It'll, it'll help. Cool. Oh, and I worked on it real, real hard. Yeah. Oh, oh okay, okay. Oh, Here, right. let me help you put it on. And she just starts putting it on him. Uh, <laughs> um, what, what, what's this? What, what's gonna happen? Don't worry, everything's fine. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Well, assuming that it works. Yeah, it's gonna be good. <laughs> You've got to be sort of like modified like rucksack you know made of like basic <laughs> canvas it looks pretty normal but there's definitely been some strange alterations to it and it seems kind of heavy in the back like it's a little lopsided and kind of find yourself leaning back a little bit um but you see these like strange like pull strings kind of dangling down on either side of your shoulder that you're not really almost like a hoodie but it's like as part of this this knapsack i immediately pull them <laughs> yes <laughs> as you pull them the the knapsack launches open and sprouting out from the back of it extends maybe about six feet up or so spreading out over you a large umbrella holy heck what the heck when, when did you when did you guys do this uh we, we've been working on it for a little while but um i know that you had a lot of problems on the beach when we were fighting those guys, and I just wanted to make sure that you were safe, you know? 
I hope that this can help you. The um, like, the fabric, by the way, is just a black fabric, but it's got these little green, um, uh, four leaf clovers on it. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. Oh my god. Oh, this is this is wonderful. Uh, I think it's gonna be great. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. I think it fits really well. Yeah, it does. I oh, uh, thank and snacks just gives Greg a big old hug. Uh, uh, and the hug. wobbling a little bit because he's not quite sure how to move around as well with this. Um, how how do I? Does it go back? Yeah, yeah, it'll go back in when you need it to. I'm pretty sure you just pull the other string. I think that's what Uncle O told me. Yes, string. It all sort of retracts back in. Oh, good, um, I was right, yeah. So, mechanically speaking, um, for combat purposes or whatever, <laughs> uh, it is a bonus action to either... Wonderful. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you so much. This is... I, I've yeah. never had anything that was, like, mine this much, and I, I don't think anyone's ever made me anything before, so... Oh, well, we're friends. Really, You're welcome. It really means a lot to me. Little, little, little tear rolling down. Well, you mean a lot to us. Another oh, hug. No hug. Oh. <laughs> These little tail wiggles. Talking about my best friend. <laughs> friend. <laughs> Liz, As the rest of you guys little are this, this heartwarming, wholesome encounter, what are you guys up to this evening? This early afternoon. You know, I'm just kind of chilling off to the side with Era, just, like, watching all that go down. Like, both of them are just kind of looking. He's, like, speaking broken draconic to Little Wormling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see Era kind of uh, perched, kind of up high on the back of a, a reclining chair, just kind of watching all this go down. And she sort of looks over to you, Chameleon, and kind of chirps pleasantly, gives you as much as a baby dragon can smile, a, a warm smile before sort of fluttering off and gliding and crashing into a stack of papers behind uh, sort of the central office desk. And you see Reginald, who's in the middle of kind of like dealing with some paperwork, looking a little flustered, kind of, oh, doggone it. Uh, uh, who's responsible for this? Whose turn is it to watch this? <coughs> You're oh. quite adorable, but. I run over and I'm just kind of collecting the papers. I'm just, oh, 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 sorry about that. Uh, just a little excited. I'm not exactly sure what's going on over there, but honestly, ever since we got that little contraption made, she gets excited anytime she sees one of Orsix contraptions. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose these things take time, but Era, you best learn your manners or at least how to control your flight better. And Era just kind of like poofs a little curl of smoke that wisps up and kind of skulks away. And you see Chameleon kind of, like, flinch as the smoke goes up, like, just kind of, like, making sure it's not purple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Luce and Ciaran, what are you guys up to this evening? Anything in particular probably. just relaxing? Luce is probably just trying to make herself scarce, not really interested in the hubbub. All right. Just Maybe of, with a book. There's, uh, you know, some really nice kind of somewhat private little alcoves built into this lounge where, you know, if you... Or you want to be present but not bothered. You know, there's nice little areas that are kind of like little reading nooks with like a small little slightly translucent curtain that you can kind of pull. It's it's very peaceful and very accommodating. And what about you, Ciaran? Anything in particular? Um, I think Ciaran is probably just sitting there quietly humming softly to her pet mouse and kind of watching everyone cautiously from the corner of the room. Okay. As this uh, boisterous and heartwarming encounter happens, and uh, you see Chameleon and uh, Reginald start to kind of pick up and reorganize these papers that have sort of flown everywhere, suddenly the front doors, the large double doors into the lounge, burst open and pro riding across the guild lounge, demanding your attention, uh, sits Selena atop her white winter wolf admiral. Uh, and you can see on the top of Selena's head is this tri pointed, almost Jack Sparrow esque uh, hat with a large purple feather coming out the back. And she is dressed to the nines in her full mariner's armor, uh, scimitars at the side. And she slowly, proudly, almost like a general, strides across this guild hall with her nose held high in the air. 
before she stops in front of her father's desk. Neatly dismounts. Clears her throat. Reaches into a, a pouch. Produces a dossier. And drops it on the, t the desk in front of her father. She says, Father, I have procured a contract for our guild. And Admiral just sort of ruffles his fur a little bit and sits back on his haunches, and you see her tongue kind of lull out a little bit. She just seems happy to be there. And Reginald kind of looking around. Goes, oh, um, excellent, Selena. Um, this is splendid news. Very proud of you. Uh, who's our clientele? And uh, Selena just kind of like scooches the, the folder forward a little bit. And Reginald kind of looks it over. Interesting. Uh, we've never done something like this before, but I suppose this is exactly why we got into the business. Excellent. Everyone, everyone, we have a, a contract to, to, to complete here. This is, this is, Selena, I'm very proud of you. This is, uh, actually, and he kind of like opens the folder and starts like thumbing through. I do believe you missed one signature here and selena just kind of like <laughs> um selena turns around and goes all right guys listen up i through my awesomeness have uh procured and established a connection with a local cadorian whaling company uh you know all those fancy street lights outside that keep it light up yeah they run on whale oil and so uh these guys i guess have special ships that go out into the midnight sea and they hunt whales and extract oil from them for all of us to use. Now, here's the problem. These guys are very mindful about not poaching and overfishing these whales because they are sort of a somewhat limited resource. They got respect for them. You know, they're cool. They're part of the ecosystem here. And so, well, they do have to kill some of them to get the whale oil. They make sure to protect the ones so that the population maintains a certain, you know, feng shui. According to them, according to my uh, paperwork there, you'll see if you read the finer notes there, Father, um, this whole group of poachers that have been going into their fishing grounds and killing these whales like crazy. That shit doesn't fly with me. It doesn't fly with this company. We're natural allies. They've got money. We've got uh, stabby people and punchy people and yeah. tiger people. I think I think we can handle this. You guys up for it? Uh, it's it's been a hot minute since I've gotten to sail. My sea legs are are wiggling. I want to get out of the counter piracy. What do you guys think? It's not like a really just like obvious bemoaning sigh. Just <laughs> what have you gotten us into this time? And he just kind of like reaches over Reginald's shoulder and is like flicking through, seeing what he can see on like the folder to see like if he can figure out what. <laughs> Make a quick perception check, actually. What was that? Make a quick perception check. First roll of the night. And we got a seven. Um, so you're kind of like peeking over as Reginald's kind of like organizing it and straightening out papers. And it seems pretty legit. Like the the font and like the parchment is like very, you know, like it looks like a, a Reginald contract, except parts of it have uh, Selena's handwriting on it. And a lot of it is in very like detailed, intricate, like legalese for lack of a better term. Um, and so a lot of it kind of goes over your head at a quick glance. You're not quite sure there are details that sort of jump out at you, uh, but you do see um, what appears to be signatures signed by the clients in certain spots. Um, you don't necessarily see a gold amount in that quick little notice over Reginald's shoulder, but everything seems legit. Do you really trust this? I know she's your daughter, but you remember what happened last time? Remind me, Selena, what did happen last time? You see Selena's face, half a second, has the slightest blush before she tilts her nose up. 
I believe last time our contract was a riveting success. Was it not quick handed? She kind of looks at you with like an intent look. Like, reluctantly, I'm like, there better be good coin in this. Uh, yeah, Father, why don't you go ahead and tell them how much this whaling company is willing to pay? And <clears throat> Reginald, kind of, oh, of course, of course, and kind of thumbs through. Uh, says here, oh, a very nice commission for the guild, yes. Um, for all participating members, that will be uh, 700 gold pieces. Very nicely done. Um, are we just like trying to scare them off, or like, do you want? Like... She looks around. You want like <laughs> broken legs and stuff. Selena kind of chuckles a little bit. She kind of, oh, uh, you know, now that you mention it, I'd uh, wouldn't mind asking them a couple questions. And uh, Admiral over here, and she kind of reaches over and reaches up and starts like scratching under his under her chin. She kind of leans into it. Admiral here hasn't gotten a nice treat in a while, so uh, see what happens. Okay, uh, I will. I'll leave the talking to somebody else. I'm just saying it's probably better that way. But yeah, fair enough. Uh, I, I'm in though. I I I'd, I'd like to wear one of those hats and yeah, yeah. I'm in. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming the hat kind of comes with this deal, right? Oh, yeah. Right. We get hats. Mm-hmm. You gotta yeah. earn this shit, sweetheart. This uh, comes with years on the seas. This uh, is this is a legit deal. We'll see. We'll see how we handle tonight. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't mean to break your heart, but there's kind of a, a higher. It's fine. Yeah, no, no, it's not broken. Go no. Some hats that will do the same thing. They'll they'll look as good, just as good. I have, sorry, just out of character, I have, like, just flashbacks to the first uh, game that I played with uh, Ciara, and I have a feeling she's just, like, looking at everybody like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right or not? I don't know. <laughs> totally. <laughs> sorry, just just having this image of her in the corner, like... You're not, you're not helping Ciara's <laughs> trust issues at all. <laughs> Broken legs comment. Chameleon's probably just kind of like taken back, staring like, what the? <laughs> so, I mean, sorry, continue. Bo- yeah, just just bo- had boats it in my mind. Are of, boats are a lot of fun. We've had a lot of fun on boats lately. <laughs> At so this point, a door opens and Marigold comes, just kind of gliding through with her sort of very dominating but passive and motherly at the same time presence. She sort of looks over all of you. Um. Did I hear correctly that Selena has a contract? And yeah. Selena kind of turns and goes, Yeah, Mom, we're going to go uh, fuck with some, some whale poachers. <laughs> we're going to kick their asses. <laughs> and Marigold kind of raises an eyebrow. and, um, All right, just be safe. I love you. And she like runs up and gives Selena a hug and like a kiss on the forehead. And you can see that teenage angst of like, oh, Mom, you're embarrassing me in front of all the cool kids. But she does give the hug back and return the hug and kisses her mom on the cheek and says, don't worry, mom. I've got this. I've been sailing for a while. Gonna make you proud. And Marigold just sort of gives a soft smile and kind of looks over to Reginald and Reginald's nods with approval. Selena clears her throat. <clears throat> Alrighty, folks. Well, uh, whenever you're ready to get this shindig on the road or on the water, shall we say, uh, meet me by the docks and uh, we'll get the she-wolf set the sail. I really think this is going to be a whale of a time. Yeah, yeah. A lot of whales. Yeah. Nice. She kind of looks over and goes, Admiral, you ready? You want to go for a swim? You want to go? And the, this giant, massive, imposing winter wolf immediately gets down on all fours low like a puppy and kind of rolls over. And you see her tongue lagging out. She runs up and scruffs his belly. All right, all right, buddy, let's go. She climbs up on back in sort of a Legolas-like maneuver, and they stride off, Zoomy style. Everyone disappears in the shop to go buy potions, just like, I know I'm going to need this. Mm -hmm. (laughs) If you guys would like to, health potions are 50 gold apiece. You can have up to three of them. Oh, three. I love Ciaran's response, and Quick's just like, I gotta go get healing potions. I've been around the block. I know how this can happen. I know. 
Um, I um, I have already stocked up on what I need. Um, cool. so I think I'm I'm good to go. Alrighty. I'm gonna put two more health potions on mine, and then I'll be good. Sounds great. So, you guys exit the guild hall, heading to the right down the Laura's Way, running south along the city into the Wharf District of Cadoria. And after a while, you see uh, Selena uh, charging ahead through the crowd. You can see, you actually, it's harder to see Selena herself, but you more see the crowd like parting as something white and fast is just rushing through the streets and people are diving out of the way so as to not get run over. And uh, you watch from a few hundred feet off as in one swift, apparently very well-practiced maneuver, Admiral Fox leaps about 10 feet in the air and you see Selena reach and pull something out of her pocket before she takes it and throws it. And in a puff of fog and smoke, this appears and selena and admiral land on the top deck well, hot damn yeah. i don't believe any of you guys had sailed no uh i believe snacks has sailed on the she wolf before so you've seen this neat little party trick where she can fold up her boat into a tiny little paper boat and then throw it on command mm-hmm. it's so cool it's it's even it's even cooler the second time <laughs> you've seen that before wow Selena kind of stands and rests over the uh, rests over the rail and goes, "All right, come on, you land lovers, let's go. We got to move on." Uh, I start moving yeah. that way. Probably uh, would also like uh, <laughs> just as as one of the other females in the group, I uh, try to grab uh, CR and Luce's hands and just be like, "Okay, guys, let's go." <laughs> All right, so you guys just dragging these two behind you. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully not not too much. <laughs> you guys all make your way on deck, the she wolf. And are we I doing think... the thing that you do with the little kid swinging you between us? Oh my god, <laughs> please do it! I really hope so. It was <laughs> and we'll, like, ca- cautiously, like just try to play along with what's going on. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Doesn't want to be here. <laughs> All right. As you guys all board and the gangplank is lifted, you can see um, Selena takes her place at uh, the wheel. But instead of actually grabbing hold of the wheel, you see her kind of take this unique stance. And she almost begins sort of this fluid, very Tai Chi, sort of water bending style dance. And as she begins, slowly the ship lurches forward. And you guys make your way out of the port, heading, uh, actually, if we look at the world map. Handouts and links, world map, show to players, boom. Um, You can see you guys are heading uh, southwest, kind of wrapping around the coast. And Selena, in the midst of this dance, kind of informs you all. So we've got some ways to sail before we get to the whaling grounds, but we should arrive there by the morning. Um, It's few dozen miles, a few leagues or so north of Trareg. So hold tight. Make yourselves comfortable. Hope you're not seasick. We'll be there as soon as we can. And you see Admiral kind of bark excitingly. And she runs to the front and kind of like puts her paws over the deck and like lets that sort of sea spray spray in her face. And you can see her biting at some of the water droplets. She looks like she's having a good time, like a dog kind of leaning her head out the window. The movie <laughs> car. Um Biting at the hose. Yeah, ears flapping in the wind. It's it's a good time. <laughs> so you guys have about a day of downtime aboard the ship. If there's anything oh. you guys would like to do or any conversations you guys would like to have questions to ask. Um Cricket 100 percent is just trying to make friends with Admiral and thinks she can do that by copying <laughs> what it's doing, so is also getting sprayed in the face. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it enjoying Enjoying being on a boat for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> you historically have had some trouble bonding with Admiral. Admiral seems to have yeah, a natural <laughs> predisposition towards goblins. So there's a bit of distrust there. I'm going to make it happen eventually <laughs> over time. It's the long con. It's fine. The long con. All right. Uh, 
Um, Snacks is gonna go over. Um, does Ciaran still have her little mouse pet with her, or does yeah. that stay? Um, so Snacks is gonna go over. Like, um, hey, I know. Um, so are you are you ever gonna eat that? <laughs> Sarah and just like looks at him with like just this like sh- look of horror. Because I, I mean, like I've never seen someone keep their food around with them for that long, so I was just kind of wondering. Um, you know, I and he's kind of small. I'm not really sure he would be very good to eat. Oh, I mean, I've had so many of those <laughs> in the past. Uh, they, they're pretty good. They're they're not the best, you know. But you make do with what you have to. But um. I mean, I'm not, I don't mean to be pushy, but just I, I was just wondering because I've never seen someone keep their food that long. She just like squints at him and is like, "This is a poisonous breed." <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, you better. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, good. Good choice not eating him then. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh man. Wow. You gotta. Maybe you should like label it or something. Um, because you know some people might just want to take a bite you, you know not i wouldn't do that but some people might want to take a bite if they get a little hungry so a labels labels go a long way you know let's see, let's go see what cricket's doing oh okay, okay. <laughs> she's been it scares me but we can check it out sure okay <laughs> and and snacks just grabs crn's hand and but yeah everything's good we're best besties right now too Sarah right. should... packs her mouse away very carefully <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> you should label it is the best thing I've heard. <laughs> usually poisonous things are really brightly colored. They're not usually just regular. So if they are, they need labels. It's, it's just common sense. Put a little red scarf on it. Oh. 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 After about the first half hour or so, eventually the novelty of being out on the sea uh, wears off and Admiral kind of retires and curls up. It seems like there's almost like a designated spot behind Selena where Admiral sort of curls up and, you know, kind of nose to tail. Mm-hmm. takes a little nap, kind of ears perked up, kind of. You can tell she's, she's aware of her surroundings, but she's relaxing a bit. And you guys are picking up speed as, as you get out into sort of the deeper waters away from the coast a bit. Uh, you see Selena's dance get a lot more kinetic and a lot more impactful and moving, and the movements are sharper and more fierce and more concise. Um, And you get the sense that, uh, those of you who have never seen this before, that Selena's actions are actually able to manipulate and control this ship to the exact degree of precision that is necessary without the need for a crew. And you kind of take this moment to notice that this entire ship is empty except for the seven of you. Wow. So, doing that dance, like Chameleon kind of approaches her and he's like, uh, no means interrupt, but uh, I get the feeling you don't have a uh, typical sailing experience. There's a half a second delay and you feel the ship kind of lurch a little bit and it kind of before she continues easing back in goes, Whatever do you mean, quick-handed chameleon? It's kind of laughs, and he's just like, I mean, no offense or anything. I, I'm just saying, <laughs> I've been on quite a few ships, and I've never seen anybody sailing like this. Hmm. Consider yourself lucky. It's like tr- trying to, like, casually go from small talk. <laughs> he's like, so, <laughs> really, what do you have a signed up for? She kind of smirks and continues her dance, almost playfully. You get there's a, there's a sense of this sort of this mischievous aspect to her. But she goes, "No, this one should be legit." Um, you know, some asshole pirates uh, been known to ransack a ship or two, and uh, we're doing it a good thing. You know, save the whales. No funny business here. So, uh, what happens if uh, some of the Loot from the pirates makes its way back onto our ship. Well, that would be most fortuitous, wouldn't it? I mean, all I'm <laughs> saying is I don't think the, the, the copper your father is paying us is quite worth the harm we're putting ourselves into. 
So, I mean... You're saying you don't trust me. I never said anything about not trusting you. I'm just saying, uh, seems to me your old man's none the wiser, so... He just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> she kind of continues her dance for a little bit, and and sort of this, like, fluid, almost like an aerial, but she kind of catches you off guard as, as a pretty active maneuver. She kind of, like, puts her back to yours and kind of twirls around you, makes eye contact for a brief second, just kind of mouths to you in a hushed whisper, just secret safe with me, and it continues back towards the dance. Similar manner, he just kind of, like, pirouettes away and is like, don't you think you're the only one with fancy footwork? And he just kind of walks away. <laughs> All right. Amazing. There's another lurch as Selena manages to manipulate the ship just enough to make Quick Handed Chameleon nearly fall on his ass. And it's you, you hear a, a stifled chuckle. It's the collar of his robe, <laughs> and he's like, ah, must be hanging my feet up on this thing. I'm not used to wearing baggy clothing. Excuse walking. <laughs> <laughs> Exits with as much grace as he can muster. Um, so, uh, the rest of you, you guys doing anything? Other than small talk, probably not. <laughs> and trying to make friends with Admiral as often as possible. Probably not. <laughs> um, at, at some point, Snacks would probably go up to Chameleon. And um, it's like, uh, I, I've never seen a you before. What? You're fuzzy. And Snacks would reach in and try to rub, like, a, any fuzz that is exposed. I'm so concerned for you right now. We all are. Just the silence. Just letting it happen. It, <laughs> well, yeah, so do you, were you a kitten at one point? Okay, okay, all right. Well, it was nice touching you. It's nice to just gonna turn away and walk <laughs> out of there. Uh, get to cricket as soon as possible. Oh my god. Hey, Lucky, what's going hey, on? Hey, hey, um, yeah, he's he pretty is. fuzzy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, um, is he nice? Yeah, I mean, yeah. What, why would you do? I, well, I mean, I'd never seen him, uh, him before. Yeah, yeah, um, I get that. So, I, I, I touched his fur. I mean, kind of. Oh, yeah, without it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I'm thinking through it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, you're not dead. That's good. I don't think so. Unless it happened really quickly. Uh, Cricket's gonna look over to Chameleon. How's he? Does he look pissed or does he look? How's, how's Chameleon looking right now? I'm pissed. Just genuinely confused. Like <laughs> at first he thought it was just like a joke, and then like the more it transpired, the more he realized Lucky was serious. So like by the end of it, as Lucky walked away awkwardly, he was just kind of left and like a <laughs> like looking around at like CRN and uh, how do I pronounce your name, Graceless? Because I will butcher it. Loose. Loose. Okay. I was about to put an A on there. So, yeah, glad I am. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of look at CRN and Loose and just like, like, that, did that <laughs> happen? I, you know, from the look on it, I think, I think you're his friend now. I think you've made a friend. Yeah. Hey, cool. I mean, it was like, I made friends with you fast and, yeah. and CRN really seems to like. Poison pet mouse thing. What? Food? Yeah, she stored a poison food thing. I think she's gonna give it to like our enemies at some point. It's gonna be great. 
Oh, wow. It's really going to I can't wait to see them. that. Yeah, That's I'm amazing. excited. Yeah, what it's the? it is going to be so good. What, what a trickster. It's a mouse though, right? Like it's small, you said? Yeah, and it's it's oh. it's not even like it doesn't look poisonous at all, but apparently it is. That's how she gets you. Don't don't take anything. Oh, out. no. I I well, I know not to now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Never. Oh. Ooh. She's she's full of tricks. She's really cool. But, but it's also not really devious. Yeah, but she doesn't yeah. keep it. She's not keeping it as food though. Well, I mean, it's poisonous, so she can't eat it unless she can okay. doesn't I I don't know. You know, I haven't uh, it's I don't fine. know. You know, I I trust you. I don't think she'll hurt us. It's fine. I think okay, we're okay. okay. Yeah. I, I mean, we're she sa friends. She saved yeah. me before and it was really awesome and she's awesome, but I didn't I didn't know she had a tricky side to her. Makes you like her more, right? I I think it does. I think yeah. it does. Yeah. She's pretty cool. Yeah, she's awesome. Oh, they're all looking at us. Um Oh like jeez. Um um mm, mm, water in the face. <laughs> So the night continues on. Eventually, the sun sets in the west, and there's this beautiful sunrise, the sunset as evening takes you. You all enjoy a rather black uh, seafaring meal together before a bunch <laughs> break down for the night. And Selena assures you that uh, the ship will continue to sail, not to worry about her. She's got everything managed, and to uh, expect to be. Cool, cool. All right. So, night takes you for some an interesting experience. Although, you do notice that uh, the she wolf, this ship, seems to glide across the water a lot more smoothly and peacefully, less turbulent than other ships that you may or may not have been on, depending on your own personal backstories. For some of you, this is your first time at sea, and that slight rocking sensation is to some kind rock like a baby and to others very disconcerting and uncomfortable and you might find yourselves getting a little bit nauseous but sleep eventually finds all of you and the night passes on uneventfully nice snacks isn't murdered at night nope okay good not this time <laughs> not this time It's still somewhat dark when you awaken, but you hear this loud bell, this ding, 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 three times. And you hear a sort of a low rumbling, sort of soul gut-wrenching howl accompanying the bell, which you can only assume is Admiral. And then you hear Selena's voice go, all right, up and out, let's go, let's go. We're almost there, folks. Let's get ready to rock. And it's a very unsoothing, very disturbing way to be woken up. <laughs> but <laughs> you all drag yourselves out of bed, get up, and appear at the top deck, where you see Selena kind of sitting next to the wheel, petting Admiral with her hat kind of cocked to one side. And as you all make your way to the top deck, looking around, you can see that the morning brings with it a very heavy fog that kind of limits your visibility. You guys are just there's no land in sight. Um, the ocean is just like looking into a white bed sheet that surrounds you. Selena goes, all right, crew, listen up. Uh, seems we've meandered into a bit of a fog cloud here, but no worries. I am an expert navigator. Uh, just keep your eyes peeled for anything, and uh, we'll be looking out for those pirate ships. Sounds good. Alrighty. What what do pirate ships look like? She kind of looks down and up at the sails with the giant golden kraken on it on the black sails. And she kind of, I don't know. Uh, you know, you'll know it when you see it. Oh, okay. Okay. Just like food. Yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> All right. Um. A few hours go by, not even, about an hour goes by, and I need everyone to make perception checks. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, 
I like my role. Yay. <laughs> so it's actually CRN. Um, not being distracted by the idle chatter of your compatriots. <laughs> uh, looking out over the bow, uh, eventually you see something off in the distance, sort of a shape appear slowly into this rolling fog. And I will move you guys to the next map. I do apologize if this loading screen takes longer than normal, but I think it'll be worth the wait. I'm so excited by that. You might need to zoom out a bit too. This is yeah, like... I was... Ooh, I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Guys, it moves. Yep. It um... moves. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that's so cool. So, a few hundred feet off in the distance as it slowly moves into uh, visibility, CR and C whaling ship um its sails are currently uh furled up and you can see large heavy nets on either side of the ship that seem to be kind of anchored down which you can only imagine were to carry and deliver whale carcasses um you can see with your 19 that there is sort of a slight darkish hue kind of emanating from those nets and kind of fanning out around this boat which seems to be anchored So do I try to, like, get everyone's attention and be like, hey, guys, look up there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. All right. There's a ship over there. So Lena kind of stops and pulls out a small little cylinder, which she then extends into an eyeglass and kind of looks over. Huh, I don't... Uh, hey, she hands it to you, Luce. Luce, do you see anything? Tell me I'm crazy. And as you, you uh, actually, Luz, go ahead and make and roll me a perception <clears throat> check with advantage. Okay. Natural twenty. Hell yeah! All right. Looking uh... with this this strange device, which you might not have ever interacted with before, you can see very clearly onto the deck. As you look, and it is empty. There are no signs of life anywhere. Um, kind of scanning, looking for, you know, usual uh, a crew, any whalers, any any signs of people. It is it seems almost completely abandoned. For a moment, you see a shift, a sudden bit of movement up in sort of the upper rigging near the sails, and you kind of. Look, and it's gone, and must have been like a seagull or something that caught your attention. But looking at the nets, they appear to just be leaking this this deep, dark fluid into the water around it. And Selena kind of goes, "All right, uh, what do you think? Should we get closer?" Off I mean, it her. seems a little fishy. Uh, <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Oh no. <laughs> it's it's starting. It's starting. I mean, it is early. Maybe we'll catch him sleeping. That'd be that'd be juicy. What do you think? Hearing off this side, do I see that dark liquid over here as well, or is it just specifically around their ship? Uh it appears to be specifically around the ship. Just join everybody on that side of the ship trying to figure out what. <laughs> All right. As uh, as uh, Luce and Selena, I think we're discussing because uh, Luce was looking at, through the spyglass, right? Mm -hmm. As they're discussing, um, since um, CRN uh, over there, uh, Cricket's gonna turn to Lucky and just be like. Our eyes are magical too. <laughs> oh my goodness! That lucky yeah. looks real, real hard. And then I'm gonna look over that that direction as well. <laughs> Squinting oh, real hard. You guys. Spyglass. <laughs> Spyglass, and you guys all notice that this this ship appears to be 
almost completely abandoned. Like there's there's no signs of any sort of uh, human or humanoid life on this. Um, Selena kind of looks and just, all right, uh, shall we prepare to board? Yeah, um, this isn't like part of the plan, right? Like there's supposed to be actually like people there. Yeah, it looks like I was expecting her. And not and mysterious she... black ooze. Well, that's probably just the, the whale. It, it, you you gather it's blood. It seems to be blood coming from the nets, which for a whaling ship is not entirely uncommon. But it's strange that there's blood coming from the nets and no people sort of hauling in those nets. Yeah, I mean, how do you want to board then, uh, uh, here, Selena? Let me, uh, she kind of, and the ship moves. Let me uh, moves directly alongside. Um, there's maybe about like a five to ten foot gap between decks, as that's as close as she can get. And she kind of shifts the ship just so slightly so that the masts don't get intertwined. And she says, she kind of takes her stance and kind of holds like a ready, kind of patient defense almost esque stance. And kind of goes, All right, why don't you guys go ahead and scope it out? She kind of whistles, goes, Admiral, go on, girl, go, go with them. And she kind of perks up and bounds and jumps off with you. Uh, Cricket, seeing that Admiral can do it, totally it gives it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Admiral jumps across the deck, no problem. Kind of looks back at you and and barks in sort of a, a welcome, welcoming, playful way. Are there any ropes to aid in that? <laughs> oh, there are lots of ropes that you can kind of grab and swing across with. So you guys can move. I'm gonna these try shows. that. <laughs> okay, I, I will start to head over. Everybody, are you guys all cool? At least you're coming, right? I'm not just like approaching the edge. I'm just kind of okay. looking at Selena. Like, are you really comfortable sending your wolf onto a boat with nobody and blood in the water? Nothing about this seems at all dangerous to you. She's a big girl. She can handle herself. Worst okay. case scenario, and she kind of like tilts her back, and you can see there is a rather formidable looking bow kind of tucked. You can see like the bowstring going across her chest. She goes, "I got you guys." If shit goes sour. Cricket grabs one of the ropes, hopefully, hopefully able to hold her. She <laughs> knows nothing about boats <laughs> or ships, <laughs> and is gonna try to swing across. All right, go ahead and make an acrobatics check with advantage. Excellent. <laughs> Easy. Yay. Enough. Swing right across. You can move yourself to the other ship. Uh, lucky seeing uh, Cricket doing that would try the same. All right, go ahead and make an acrobatics with advantage. Easy enough, right alongside. As Cricket and Lucky go across, you just kind of see Chameleon like a really like over worried dad. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> jump. Come on, guys! Can I see anything like throwable on our ship? There's all sorts of. Uh... You know, gaffs and barrels and uh, small, like, grappling hooks and things like that. Is there something that I could cast light on and throw it over there so that we could have a little extra uh, visibility? Um, sure. You grab um, what looks to be, like, like a lead weight, almost, like, for maybe, like, fishing. Cast that. Um, you know, it's, it's a, like, a good, heavy throwing weight and you cast light on it and toss it over and as you do so there's kind of that like fog lights in you know like high beams and fog kind of effect where that light is kind of like surrounding you and actually almost hurts your visibility a little bit but as it lands it kind of dissipates a little bit and as that happens uh loose i need you to make another perception check All right, as it lands and starts, <laughs> again, you kind of have to like shield your eyes for a second and kind of readjust as 
the light kind of resituates. It's the fog is very heavy here. And you guys do have visibility, you know, a couple hundred feet worth, maybe. Yeah. Look at that. Like 150, 200 feet visibility or so. But it is kind of ominous. So like seeing everybody like getting ready to run and jump and the light getting thrown across. Mm-hmm. Chameleon kind of, like, comes to the edge of the boat, like, grabs onto one of the ropes, and is just, like, looking over the water. And, like, he takes one of the pittens out of his uh, explorer's kit, or I don't know how that word's pronounced, but little spiky things for climbing, and just kind of drops it in the water and, like, watches to see if, like, anything, if there's any reaction. Make me a perception check. Nice, man. As you look down, there's that boonk, flash of water, and you can see that sort of red liquid kind of filter around it and sort of ring before it kind of slowly, as the ocean waves kind of come, uh, fill in that hole. And then you see crawling, scrambling, scraping up the side of the ship, an arm come out of the water, followed by another arm. And you look, and there are several of these crawling up the side of the ship towards you. I need everybody at this point to make me an initiative roll. Smart idea, but what did you do? (laughs) He summoned them all. That's all I'm saying. I forgot to select my token, sorry. Oh, oh, shit. Did I? Oh, I did select mine. Accidentally. How fortuitous. Alrighty. Um, so, so, CRN, you had what was your initiative roll? 18. 18, very nice. Alright, so we've got all five of you guys. We've got an admiral. We've got a Selena. And Selena has advantage on initiative rolls. I will roll twice for her and take the 22. Okay. Um, And then we've got these little fuckers. Alrighty. So, at the uh, top of the initiative, as you see these things climbing up the side of the ship, you see Selena kind of pause and kind of root herself. She just goes, shit, guys, watch out! And that's her full action was to stop the ship. Uh, Luce, you are up, as you've been alerted to the presence of these creatures. Um, uh, oh dear. I guess... <laughs> I'm going to jump over to the other ship with Cricket and Lucky. Okay, go ahead and make... Are you just jumping or are you using the rope to swing? How the, you rope. the rope. Okay, go ahead and make an acrobatic check rope. with advantage. I'm going to move uh, over you, you to the ship. Open. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, Luce, you make the cross ah. How much movement is that considered? Uh, that's going to be about 15 feet of movement to kind of like run and swing. So you still have three squares left over. Okay, and then are these guys over on the sides or are they up at the top now? Uh, the so feet. they're still like just coming out of the water. They're like on the sides of the boats and climbing. Okay. All right. I guess I'll move over here. Okay. And I'm going to... You shillelagh. Okay. Bonus action. You kind of uh, take your quarter staff and it starts to go out with the sort of natural green energy. And then I'm going to try to hit the one that's crawling up close All to right. me. So you kind of like lean over and it's more of like a boom click right on top of the head. Go for it. You can see as you get a closer look at these creatures, they appear vaguely humanoid, but you can see the skin is a sort of like sickly pale green color and you can see barnacles and urchins and seaweed kind of wrapping over the skin that's almost slopping off 
You can see the eyes are wide and bulbous like fish eyes. And you can see the jaw is almost unhinged. And it kind of flares at you almost like a like an alien from the alien movies before it retracts. And you can see the smaller mouth and these teeth kind of just slowly crawling towards you. As you go to uh, strike it from above, that flare out kind of startles you. And you take a step back for a moment. And unfortunately, that's a miss. That's it. All right. Uh, Ciaran, you are up. Okay, I am gonna cast sleep on this guy. On which guy, sorry? This one. Okay, so from... Oh, I can't reach it. I was gonna say, technically... No, it's 90... So the visibility on that one is a little weird just because okay. it's on the other side of the ship, so you wouldn't be able to like see through the ship to see it. Because the sails are in the way. Okay. Right. So I can but can I see this one? Uh that's kind of the same situation. They're, they're like climbing up the opposite side of the ship. So you can definitely so, see these two in front of you here. These two, okay. Yeah. I guess I'll put it on this one then by cricket. All right. So you see it climbing up and you take your spell and cast sleep for twenty two. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does have more than 22 hit points. So your sleep spell is kind of just wafts over it and kind of gets caught in that sea spray um, and washed away. So that's your action. You still have a bonus in movement. Um, I think that's it. Okie dokie. Uh, oops, sorry, I reset. Um, from up above, Cricket, you hear a noise, this sort of low, guttural kind of growling before suddenly these large, almost octopus-like tentacles reach down. And, Luce, you had noticed movement up in the rigging before. <laughs> but even with a natural 20, their stealth bonus is so high that they rolled a 28 on their stealth check. Oh! Yeah. Uh, so, Cricket, you see this thing lash out towards you, and it's going to make uh, two tentacle attacks at you. Uh, okay. You have kind of a reach attack. Uh, the first one is a natural one. Well, actually, it would have advantage because you didn't see it, so that's a 21 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that is uh five points of bludgeoning damage and as it clobbers you you feel it kind of rake into your skin and you take three points of piercing damage and you are grappled and restrained and it just wraps around you and starts to pull you up into the rigging so rude okay <laughs> um snacks actually this one's going to go for admiral uh so it's going to make an attack on Admiral. What is Admiral's? Oh, for? it's going after any of my friends. It's going That's down. That's a miss. Admiral is tanky AF. Uh, <laughs> try again on Admiral. Uh, that so many Admiral. So Admiral's going to take twelve points of damage total. But as this 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 weird green scaly creature tries to lift Admiral, she just sort of growls, and the tentacles retract. It seems she's a little bit too big to be lifted. Um, mm -hmm. This one is going to attack you, Luce. Uh, that's a 10 to hit with the first try, and a 20 Misses. with the second. That one hits. All right, so that's a total of 10 points of damage, and you are lifted and kind of, you're grappled and restrained. So actually, let me get my condition markers. As it kind of pulls you up, and it's in the process of lifting you up into the sails. All righty, Cricket, you are up. <laughs> Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, <laughs> that that changed everything. That's great. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so currently, you are lifted off the ground. Your feet are dangling yeah. as these tentacles have you like wrapped around the throat and like under the armpit, and you just feel these like sharp piercers kind of piercing into your skin as it's lifting you closer to this creature. They are ugly. Okay. <laughs> um, how, how far up off the ground am I right now, roughly? 
Um, I'd say you're just barely getting off the ground because it dragged you kind of five feet closer and up. So you're maybe like two feet off the ground. Your feet are just kind of like barely not touching. Oh, okay. I'm not super high or anything yet. Okay, yeah, I thought it was like... <laughs> but I think... continue to okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm grappled and restrained, you said. Yes. So I would have disadvantage to my attacks. Correct. You can use an action I am... to attempt to yeah, since I'm that close to the ground, I'm going to try that first. Uh, either an athletics or acrobatics check to try to escape. I will try an acrobatics. Okay. <laughs> All right. You can quickly okay. wiggle your way out um, and kind of land on the ground without taking any damage, but that is your action to do so. You're no longer okay. grappled or trained. Okay, and then... Um, Bear with me, sorry. No worries. That changed so much. Okay. Um, <laughs> I hate when that happens. Um, I don't. I don't know if it. Oh no! Hold on. Is that an act? Yeah. No, I can't do that. Um, I will spend. It. Is it within? Oh no! I'm gonna do. Can I use a key point to do flurry of blows? So you'd have to take the attack action in order to get that bonus right. action offhand. Uh, but you could do like a patient defense yeah, for a key point. Yeah. Um, it's up to you. No, nah, I'm just going to I'm just gonna wait. I'm okay. just going to wait. Limited key points. I'm going to wait. <laughs> oh, cool. All righty. And you that's are... the end of my turn. I'm not going to move. You see these creatures climbing up the sides of the deck, and you see other ones above you up in the rigging. What would you like to do? Um, how high are the ones in the rigging above uh, me? They're roughly like 10 to 15 feet up. Okay. Not crazy Not high. super high, but okay. Um, ooh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh. Um, is, it, uh, is it direct sunlight outside? Uh, because of the fog, it is not. Okay. Yeah. Cool beans. Um, oh, boy. Uh, 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 um, the ones that are climbing up the side, if I get down to the side, am I able to make melee attacks yep. on them? Okay. Um, well, in that case, I'm just gonna move one little, one little slot slot over there and, uh, just take a little stab at the guy that's down there. All right. Um, forward. little, little, little pokey pokey. A 17 will hit for nine. Hey. shot. Thank you. You were in it just sort of flares out with this fishy face. You can see these like fins where its ears would have been sort of flare out in this like vibrant orange color. Um and uh uh tried not to hurt my throat. Um that <laughs> that will be my whole turn. Alrighty. Admiral's going to lean over the deck and uh make a series of attacks. Where's Admiral's character sheet. There it is. Okay. Um Admiral gonna chomp. Um, yeah, she's going to lean over and just chomp at this creature. Uh, yeah, that's a 25 to hit on this bad boy. It takes uh, 14 points of piercing damage and has got to make a strength saving throw. Ooh. Perfect. Uh, that is, however, a 20 on the strength save. So as Admiral, like, reaches down and grips and actually, like, lifts it up and is going to attempt to, like, kind of throw it back into the water, this creature actually latches on with, like, a giant, like, almost tentacle-like arm with a suction cup that actually suctions to the side, um, manages to keep its grip on the boat, still climbing. Uh, so I'm going to give him a tentacle arm, which is blue, because why not? All right. Uh, Chameleon, you are up. All right, making sure my mic wasn't muted. <laughs> um, so I kind of got us into the situation in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best course of action. How high up in the in the sails are these things? They're like roughly 10 to 15 feet. Somewhere so if I were to use my feline agility, that would give me enough climbing speed to do that without any type of rolls, correct? Yeah. All right. You, so, you have an inherent climbing speed as a tabaxi. So, yeah. You still have to right. get over to the other ship, though. So, that's 
something to be aware of. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Is oh, with... so you're going to you're going to climb up this mast on your ship and then run over on this the one. Okay, yeah. some black flag shit. I like it. Easy. <laughs> So yeah, if you burn feline agility, scramble up and over, you can be right adjacent to that creature. All right, and I, as I... Kind of like balancing a little bit on there, but you're a cat. That's fine. All right, and in one hand, I have my longsword, and in the other, I have my rapier. Okay. And I'm going to take a swipe with my longsword at the arm that had uh, crit crit. Okay. And then uh, cricket. Crit. Yeah. Tick tick got me messed up. <laughs> <laughs> um. And oh, then uh, with the hey, rapier, I'm going to take a here. poke at it. Okay, so you're going one, two. Cool. All right, so... All right, go for it. So the long sword comes in. Uh, unfortunately, no sneak attack on that one, just because there's not an adjacent ally, because Cricket is now on the ground. Oh, so, but I have rockish, rockish audacity, how I'm pronouncing that. I don't oh! Know. oh. <laughs> What on that? A mastermind. <laughs> so, or, um, no, no, it was uh, I, Charlatan. Or no, not Charlatan. What is it? Swashbuckler. There Swashbucklers. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I, I was wondering why your initiative was so high. Swashbuckler shit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Rockish Audacity, you come in for 13 nice. damage, and with one single swell, fell swoop, cut this thing down the midside, and it just falls off the rigging. Nice so, shot. would I have enough movement speed to take an attack on this one? I don't um, know exactly how far I travel. You would go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35 will get you right there. So, you still have your movement speed's what? 30? So, you still have five squares. So. Yeah, so you could feline agility maneuver your way across. Yeah. So, after killing that one, I'm going to stab at this one with the rapier. Aha. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, nice. That's awesome. The 22 will hit for six. Nice shot. Whoop. Yeah. All so right. sneak attack can only proc once per turn. Just That's so you know. perfectly fine. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm first time playing a rogue, so I have I'm no idea it, what I'm, I'm doing. That was badass. <laughs> You're now up here, kind of face to face, toe to toe with this thing. It kind of looks over you with this low guttural kind of kind of clicks at you in this weird language you don't quite understand. All right, all set. All righty, the sea spawns turn. They're going to mm. be climbing up onto the deck. All right, uh, this one here with the giant tentacle arm is going to make three attacks. Uh, so the first one uh, is going to make two uh, kind of like scratches towards Admiral. The first one's a natural one. The second one's an eleven. The third one is not the right attack, so I'm going to ignore that crit. <laughs> the first one is going to be with its tentacle attack, uh, which is a miss. So this thing just like lunges and starts scratching and biting and like flailing at Admiral. She just sort of like lowers and breathes. Um, this one next to you, Lucky Snacks, uh, is going to make. Um, you see, this one's head, the one that you had poked, is actually somewhat shark-like in its anatomy the jaw kind of like unhinges um and that's kind of like where you stabbed it so it's got uh two claw attacks at you oh the boy. first one's the crit oh shoot bugs six points of bludgeoning damage on the first attack the second one's a 20 to hit that is that's three more and then the bite attack with the shark jaw is an 18 to hit that's exactly what it needed so that's a total of six plus three plus five is uh, 14 points of damage total that round. Yeah. Ouch. Doesn't feel good. All right. Um, these two over here climb up, and you can see on their backs, they sort of have these like large, kind of like purplish quills, and they sort of lean over. They're going to make some quill attacks towards you, Luce, and you are uh, grappled and restrained, so these attacks have advantage. Uh, so one attack each. Um, the first one's double natural ones. Wow. And yeah. the second one is a crit. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So that's four points of poison damage on the crit. And I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Ooh, that's a yeah. failure. 
Okay. So you are poisoned as one of the quills kind of catches you right in the jugular. Um, you kind of feel suddenly nauseous. So not only are you grappling and restrained to have tentacles pulling you up into the rigging, now you also want to puke. And it's not a good time. For <laughs> all right. Uh, so that was all four of their turns. Um, at the start of the round, you hear Selena kind of under her breath just mutter softly, oh, fuck, guys, we have company. As coming, rolling through the fog, you see another ship approach. I will oh, ship. These guys. <laughs> these guys to the initiative. All right. Beautiful. Okay, Selena, with the ship parked, lack of a better term, is going to draw her short bow, and she's going to take Mark and take two shots at the uh, choker that's got you loose. Uh, so she has so many attacks. Goodness. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay so two attacks. Uh, first one's the short bow of venom at the choker is a 25 for uh, uh, 15 points of damage, and that arrow just sinks right through the neck, and it drops. And you are no longer grappled or restrained, as you kind of fall a short ways onto the deck. Uh, it's then... She's then going to take a shot at uh, this... Um, this far sea spawn. And a 19 will hit for 11 points. Palpable hit. All right. And she kind of just like, <laughs> kind of looks, Admiral! She whistles. Admiral's going to use her reaction to take an attack uh, against this sea spawn adjacent to you, Lucky. With a big old bite. Uh, that's a 25 for 14. <laughs> Well, you know. <laughs> All right, and this one's got to make a uh, strength save, uh, which it actually does succeed on, so it manages to keep its footing. All right. Uh, that is all Selena's got. Loose, you're up. So you kind of land on the ground. You're still feeling a little woozy, Oof. but you see these two things with these quills, and there's one kind of up behind you on your left, still up in the rigging. I would like to use my bonus action to drink a health potion. <laughs> right. So that's 2d4 plus 2 health. I'm fighting with it. <laughs> okay. You guys, it's all good. Jack Sparrow just showed up. We are so set. All right, so that's <laughs> 6 health back to you. That's your bonus action. All right. And I would like to cast Thunder Wave. Ooh. And it's 15 foot radius. So uh, it's should... a 15 foot kind of block in front of you. Which way would you like to direct it? Towards the two to the left -ish. Okay. Kind of hitting both of those. Excellent. So go ahead and cast that spell for me. Ooh. Uh, oh, decent damage roll. Very nice. So they're going to make some constitution saving throws. Uh, the first one fails. Second one fails. So they both fail. They both take 10 points of thunder damage as <clears throat> this blast, this this Fusro Da comes out of loose. And they get pushed back 10 feet. Nice. Loose Ro Da? Loose Ro Da, yes! I love it. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. It's pretty serious damage on that. Very nice. So that's your action and your bonus action. Any movement? Um, I'm going to move a little further away from the other grabby guy as far as I can. Okay, cool, cool, Oops. cool. At the end of your turn, I need another constitution saving throw to try to get rid of that poison. I believe that's a DC 12, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that, that quill is kind of still sticking out right in your neck, and it's... Uh, between that and like the motion of the sea, it's it's a little rough. You're starting to get a little green in the gills. All right, uh, Ciaran, you are up. 
on the she wolf with Selena. Um, I guess I'll try to move over. It will be an action to try to get across. No, it's just part of your movement, so you can swing across with an acrobatics check if you'd like. Okay. Ooh, all right. Um, as you swing, unfortunately, that rope was a little <laughs> slippery, so you're going to fail forward, what's called. So you actually are about to head down into the water and take a drink. So I need you to make me a strength saving throw to try to just latch on to the side of the boat without falling into the ocean. <laughs> oh, no. All right. You just barely lower half of your body. like, And so you kind of pull yourself out soaking wet. Um, so that was 10 feet of movement wasted. To climb up is another 10 feet. So I would say with full movement, you can kind of just barely haul yourself out over onto the, the deck of the ship. Okay. All right. You still have your action and bonus action. And you are just drenched. Uh, I guess I will cast Bardic Inspiration on Snacks. All right. So as a bonus action, you inspire Snacks. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little. I'm gonna give you a little purple marker for that. No. Oh. There you go. All right, and you still have an action. Um, I guess I'll cast vicious mockery on this guy right here. All right, the one right in front of you. You saying anything in particular to him? Call him fish face. <laughs> Dried out fish face. <laughs> wisdom saving throw. That's an 18 on the wisdom save. So unfortunately, he doesn't even pay you any mind. He's just focused um. on this tiny little snack in front of him. Alrighty. So that's your action, your bonus action, and your movement. So I believe that's everything for you, CRN. All right. The choker's turn. Um, let's see. We've got two of them left. Uh, this choker up here is going to lash out towards you, CRN, as you just kind of flopped over onto the deck. He's going to make two tentacle attacks against you. Uh, 21 to hit. Which I believe hits. So you take yeah. seven points of bludgeoning damage and an additional two points as these tentacles wrap around and pierce into you. You are grappled and restrained and being pulled up towards that individual. Uh, this one up on the you uh, chameleon is going to attempt to shove you off so it's going to be a contested, <laughs> it's going to be a contested athletics check so go ahead and make me an athletics check. oh boy all right i rolled a natural one so as it goes to shove you you just kind of like drop the shoulder like fullback style and it kind of <clears throat> and actually stumbles back um it's gonna make a dexterity saving throw and manages to actually kind of keep its footing on there uh but uh does not fall off there uh it's then gonna just kind of try to bitch slap you upside the head with its other attack with a tentacle attack uh that's an 11 to hit all right that's a miss on the choker what a punk ass move <laughs> all righty the skeleton ship moves um uh, where where is the skeleton ship? Because I'm looking all over the map and I don't see it. Maybe it's top, just me. Top Probably. left, if you zoom out a lot. It's coming. Don't, okay. don't worry. It's there. Why are not we want it? <laughs> you, I mean, you it's should worry. Like other... I would worry. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I, I would worry a lot. Still on fire. Called it a skeleton ship. All right, so that moves 30 feet. The skeletons are just kind of like going to lob an, a volley of arrows towards you. So one towards Selena at this advantage. I think we're boned. 13. <laughs> uh, one towards Admiral at disadvantage is a 10. Towards Chameleon at disadvantage is two natural ones. So just arrows kind of sinking. But they are on the move. Cricket, you're up. Okay. I am going to... Uh, how high off the ground is this guy right now? He's with her? Like 12 feet off the ground or so. Okay. 
I am going to move up to here. Okay. And I'm going to try to do um, a Radiant Sunbolt at him. All right, just kind of a couple Hadoukens towards him. Go for it. Yeah. All right, a 17 will hit so for five. Hit. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Um, as a, a bonus action, I'm going to try to hit him again All right. for some more boom, damage. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. A 16 just hits for another five points. Yeah, he's looking really oh, rough. Yes. You can see as these these bolts of this like fiery sun energy impact this creature, it kind of winces from the pain and kind of like loosens up its grip. Tentacles and it's still lifting CRN up off the ground. Okay. And gosh, wow, it's been a while since. But can I use a key point or no? Uh, yeah, you can spend a key point. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. spend a key point and do flurry of blows to get him and let oh, her so go. Be one more hit. Because so flurry of oh. blows turns your bonus action from one attack into two. I so gotcha. I got so you've taken the one, so you could get one more hit. It is looking pretty hurt, so you might be able to take it out. And actually, yeah, that key point with the extra yes. pop, pop, pop is just enough. So it falls and lets go of Ciaran. Ciaran, you're no longer awesome. being strangled. Okay. Oh, heroic. And I'm gonna, <laughs> and I'm gonna just uh, turn now to the one in front of Lucky, and that'll be my turn. Okay, cool. Speaking of lucky snacks, you are up. Stab! You're inspired. Stabbing that one right in front of me. Right, stab, 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 stab. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I got my... Let, let's see where this is. Oh, shoot. I'm doing things I shouldn't... There we go. All right. A 16 Whew. will hit for seven points. Very nice. Hey. Still standing, but heavily wounded. Uh, still standing, though? Uh, um... I'm going to use my bonus action for second wind. Okay. So that's uh, 1d10 plus 2 yeah. health back. Hey! Eight health back. Very nice. Very nice. And, um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be my whole turn. All right. Admiral's going to go and give this uh, tentacle arm a big chomp. Uh, it's a 17 for 14. Big damage. Um, and he's got to make a strength saving throw. And is actually knocked prone. So Admiral just kind of grabs this thing around the torso and kind of shakes and just like spits it out. And he's on the ground prone. Nice. All right. Quick handed chameleon, you are up. trying to think now if i were to just hand somebody something is that a full action or a bonus action kind of depends like it depends on specifically what you're trying to do i kind of i kind of rule it on a case-by-case -case basis so specifically speaking for this scenario <laughs> i have the antitoxin from dear god knows how long ago and yep. <laughs> i'm assuming being that a uh, marigold made it correct mm -hmm. it shouldn't have expired in that time frame so I was gonna give it to uh, to lose. Yeah, yeah. Right. Sure. Because you're up high and it's kind of a, a toss. That's gonna be your full action to try to carefully toss it so that you can catch it. I can take my movement and stuff because honestly, I did all of that uh, epic banister climbing and running. Yeah. Forgetting I can walk like a spider because of my cloak. Oh yeah, you have so, that. Yeah. A lot of extra effort in for theatrics yeah. that weren't necessary. Okay. So cool though. Very uh, cool. You look super dope. Well, if you can walk <laughs> up next to her and just hand it to her. That's a free action. Loose and easy with that potion. Yeah. So with that, uh, I'm actually going to. Uh... Oh crap! The, the deck is pretty crowded. Can I even walk to it? <laughs> uh, you might have to do some maneuvering. Are there any ropes from banister to banister? Absolutely. What kind of pirate ship would this be if there weren't ropes to swing from? Uh, you can attempt to make an acrobatics check to swing from one mast to the other here. That's worth it. It's going down. 21 with ease. Yes. Oh, <laughs> over there. 
So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet of movement. All right. So I'm going to say, here, this is for Mary Golden. Just hand it to her. All and right. then take another step back to go ahead and, uh, well, I guess, uh, I guess I would have had to use a bonus action to disengage. So I didn't get attacked doing that. Uh, true, yeah. All or right. you can take the opportunity attack. Uh, just to be safe, because that thing could grab me and stop me. That's I'm true. I, I'm going to disengage, and okay. I'll just take a one attack on this guy right. with the sword. So you're kind of like swinging across, landing, and then stabbing. Okay, go for it. All right, yeah, that's definitely enough. Coming in with the long sword and skewering this thing from behind. He is no more. Nice. All right. Nice. All right. Very cool. Anything else? No, I think that's pretty much all I can do. All right. The sea spawns turn. Uh, this one's going to stand up and is going to take three attacks at Admiral because it's pissed. Uh, so first on arm strike is a miss. Second one's a miss. And the tentacle attack is a hit against Admiral. So Admiral takes oh. eight points of bludgeoning damage. Guys, Admiral has an AC of 20. That's crazy. Yo! Uh, and it is not grappled because the tentacle is not big enough to wrap around this giant fucking wolf. Okay. Uh, <laughs> these two over here are going to do some quill attacks. Uh, this one's going to shoot a quill at Selena across the way there. Uh, that's a natural one. And then the other one's going to take a shot at you, Chameleon, because you landed and you're a fast-moving target. Uh, that's a 15 to hit you. Uh, I think that meets. Yep. Okay, so you take one point of poison damage, and I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Uh, I am resistant to poison. Does that make a difference? Uh, you're still going to take the one, because... All right. Yeah. Well, well, no, I wasn't saying that. I was saying in terms of actually getting poison. I oh, wasn't sure uh, if it makes a difference. Oh, your cloak, right? Yes. Uh, can you read me the actual verbiage on the item? It just says you have resistance to poison damage. Then it does not affect the actual poison condition. All right. So I still need the con save. Gotcha. Where is my con? Uh, let me just verify. Uh, do you have resistance to poison damage? Yep. Okay. Does not say anything about poison condition. Nice oh, draw, man. Natural 20. Yeah. yeah. The, the quill like is a grazing blow, but not enough to really pierce the skin. So you are not poisoned. Nice. Okay, top of the round, Selena is going to go. Um, Selena's going to, uh, she's going to get in the fray. So she stows the two, uh, she stows the short sword and pulls out two scimitars. And as she pulls one out, you hear her whisper something under her breath. And the one in her right hand just erupts into flame. Um, and she's going to come 5, 10, swinging across with an acrobatics check at advantage. Uh, easily enough. 15, 20. 25, 30, because she's a nimble little halfling. She's going to make three attacks on this one. Uh, let's see. The first one's with the short sword. Oh, yeah. And just... Oh! Open and, like absolutely incinerates this thing um that's all she's got for this turn because she used everything she kind of like looks over at all of you kind of gives you a wink because all of my halflings wink it's a tealy's thing uh loose you're up uh so can i drink the thing that yep so it's a bonus action to, bonus action to drink the antitoxin that'll cure all your right. poison condition and then I'm gonna move to that guy. Cool. And I'm gonna hit him with my shillelagh. Go for it. All right. A 15 will hit. Yeah. For a grazing blow, but still five points of damage. Nice. Uh, kind of clock him in the midside, and you hear this like low guttural grunt. It kind of the quills on its back kind of bristle angrily towards you. Uh, anything else? All set? Yep. All righty. CRM, you are up. Um, can I move here? Uh, 
kind of weaving your way around the deck. Yeah, you can go through Cricket kind of up and around. Okay. Five, ten. Oh, I lost my character, sorry. So, so you're going to go <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. And then attack that guy with my rapier. All right, pulling out the rapier, going for a skewer. Go for it. Nice shot. Yeah, you Damn, yeah. Kind of like wait as it's like climbing up and skewer it right through the throat. And it kind of with a low guttural death growl, you skewer it and it falls flat onto the deck. Nice work. And that's it. All righty. The choker's turn. We still got one of them up here. It's going to lash out towards you, CRN, because you made yourself in range. Uh, another tentacle attack towards you. Uh, it's a 16 to hit. It hits. Okay, so you're going to take 10 points of bludgeoning and piercing damage, and you are grappled and restrained, and he's going to reel you in. Okay, so I'm negative 4. Ooh, okay, so you're unconscious. Oh. So it just, like, completely smothers you, and you kind of go limp as it's starting to carry CRN's body up into the rigging. That's that's a no bueno situation right there, guys. <laughs> Alrighty. The skeleton ship moves 30 feet. Uh -oh. So from the tip, I get right about there. Can someone like mark this square for me or just kind of like hover it right there for me? I think it was right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so they're closer now. Still just out of range. Okay, so three arrows coming in at disadvantage. Uh, we've got two at loose and one at Selena. First one at loose at disadvantage is a nine. That's a miss. Second one at loose is another nine. Last one at Selena is a seven. Just again, three <laughs> arrows sinking into the deck in effect. Cricket, you are. Up. Um, I think I'm. I think I got. Put underneath snacks, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> my, my little token is gone. Uh, so snacks was there, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't exist anymore. <laughs> no. Um, okay, I am... Oh, How high up is this guy with uh, CRN? CR About 15 feet up. I'm gonna try to do some monk craziness and try to get up on and like grab onto the tentacles to see if I can get to her. Can I? To get to Ciaran? Yeah, like jumping up and all my forty feet of movement. Can I like oh, yeah. hang so on she's, to? She's, she's just getting so you can like run and kind of climb up on top. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, uh, take out one of my health potions and feed it to her as my action. Okay. Do I roll for that, or would she, because I'm uh, giving it to her? your health potion, so you're gonna roll for it. Okay. And it's, uh, just 2d4, yes? 2d4 plus 2. So seven health back to CRN. CRN, you are conscious, but still grappled and restrained. Still not in the greatest of situations, but you are uh, alive. How much of my movement did I take to get there? Uh, just the 5, 10. You were here. 5, 10, 15. Okay. Much. And so so I guess my question is, is this guy actually up here? He is up. Yeah. Okay. So I still have some movement to move up to him, yes? Uh, yes, you can start to climb, but climbing is going to be a half movement. Oh. Yeah. Because of? The nature of the game. Um, beca so, because uh, Tabaxi are like cats, they naturally have a climbing speed, and uh, Cool Quick cool, quick Handed Chameleon has the cloak that's like spider climbing, like Spider-Man cloak, so he climbs everywhere. Um, so you can start to climb up towards this creature, like up the, the central mast, if you'd like. Okay. 
10, 15. So that would leave you with 25 feet of movement. So you could just barely get to the top. To kind of get up in this guy's face, if I if I can get there, I'd like to. Yeah, that, you can just kind of barely pull yourself up and over. Okay. And you still have a bonus action. Okay, and I am going to. <sighs> Sorry, bear with me here. Um, I'm actually going to um, use. Uh, my bonus action to um, activate the shadow blade, um, Ooh, wasting yeah. a dart into it. Okay. So you take out okay. the shadow sickle, take a dart, feed it into it, and suddenly it becomes yeah. this large blade made out of darkness, and it's this very ominous, terrifying sight. Why don't you try out me out for size? Is what I say to him. <laughs> All right. And that'll be my turn. Cool. Alrighty, Snacks, you are up. Uh, okay. Um, oh, oh, golly gee. Um, I suppose Snacks is going to take out his crossbow. Okay. And just try to take a shot at the one that is uh, right over there. Holding... Uh, Golden CRN. Okay, go for it. I have to uh, say, if you get this and kill him, it'll be the best thing in the world, because I'll just be, like, standing off, and then all of a sudden just sniped, like, out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, is, uh, is Cricket right next to that one at this point? With that, Pack Tactics is involved? Okay. I clicked um, the same thing. Or Actually, Pack Tactics, is that... I think you have to be... Uh, here, let me see. I'm not sure. I can click it to find out. You have advantage on attack roll against the creature if at least one of your... Yeah, so, yeah, you would get uh, advantage because oh. of pack tactics. Cool. I always forget roll 20. I can just click the thing, and it automatically yeah. does advantage. So, yeah, anyway. right as Cricket comes up there and says, try me out for size. <laughs> a 21 <laughs> comes in. Arrow straight through the side of the head. It's still... It's like, if you just okay. one shot this thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, like he's going to just move a little bit closer to that area. Um, and then that's the whole turn. Good. And leap over behind here onto like the back of the ship, kind of flanking with you, Luce, and it's going to take a chomp at the one that you're engaged with. Uh, that's a 10. Because Admiral... Nope, Admiral has pack tactics, too. So that <laughs> is a 22 for 16 and just tears this thing to shreds right in front of you. And Selene's just like, oh, who's a good girl? She kind of Smiles in a puppy way. All right, Chameleon, you're up. <laughs> All right, so uh, at this point, the only thing left standing on this boat is this guy, correct? Correct. Um, is Ciaran still... Uh... She's alive, but she's still grappled and restrained by it. She's still kind of getting reeled in. How high up is she? Uh, it's about 15 feet up. How high up is she? She's just getting off the ground. So she's maybe like two or three feet off the ground. Let's walk right up to her. Okay. All right. So with that, uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Theor theoretically, even though she's grappled, could I still just force feed her a potion? Yeah. That will be your action. All right. So I'm going to force feed her one of my potions. Okay. 2d4 plus 2. So, All right, so Yarn, you get nine health back. I think that probably topped up. Very nice. All right, and you still have a bonus action if you'd like. I'm going to take a swing of it. Or wait, can, I can do that, right? Oh, uh, yeah, you can take an offhand swing. Yeah. All right. How much movement do you have, though? You have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 to get there. Actually, no, it'd be 5, 10, 15, 20. yeah, 25 to get there. So you have five feet of movement to start climbing. Unless you, yeah, because you'd have to bonus action dash. So you, you 
unfortunately aren't going to be able to get so, there and attack. Instead it. of blocking, could I try and fling a dagger at it? Uh. Oh, wait, no, that would put one of my weapons away yeah. and compromise my AC. Yeah. Eh, not worth it. Uh, in that case, already. Uh, I guess. All right. I guess an attack if anything comes close enough. So you used your action and you can't ready a bonus. That's right. That's right. Okay. So with that, I'm just going to stand there and look goofy. All righty. The sea spawn are no longer existing. So it's Selena's turn. At the top of the round, as. The tides seem to be turning in your favor. Through the fog comes rolling. This one a little bit more sinister than the other. As you see with ominous black silky sails, the ship come towards you. So I'm going to add uh, these skeletons are going to go with the same other skeletons just to keep it easy on me. Um, these guys have their own initiative right now, and this guy. Okay. So, Selena is going to stow her centaurs, pull out the short bow, and fire at one of the skeletons up here, probably just this first one right up front. A couple of shots with the short bow. 25 plus the four to undead targets. No sneak attack, however. So that's just going to be nine plus four is 13 points of piercing, which I believe skeletons have resistance to piercing damage. They do not. So, yeah, one shot, she takes out one of these skeletons. Uh, second shot, she's going to aim at the, the next one. Uh, that's a 15 that will also hit. For another shot, she takes out both skeletons. All right. Uh, Luce, you're up. Um, the guy up on the other side of the ship is still up, right? Uh, there's one guy over here, yep. All right. So I'm going to use... Mm, I'm going to stay where I am. I'm going to use Moonbeam. Oh, shit. Interesting. On that guy. Oh! This giant, bright, uh, glittering beam of moonlight comes directly onto him. Uh, can you go ahead and cast that spell for me? Yep. All right. Uh, do you have the spell card, per chance? Because I don't think he takes damage yeah. right away. Um, How do I give you the spell card? I got it. Uh, when a creature enters the spell's area uh, for the first time, or it starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain and has to make a constitution saving throw. So, on its turn, it's going to immediately make the con save. Cool. Alrighty. And uh, then so that's, that's your action. That. Okay, cool. Diaran, you are up. You're very healed, but currently <laughs> bound and being lifted by this choker creature. So if I try to attack, am I going to have a disadvantage? You're going to get a disadvantage, yes. Um, how do I roll that? Uh, it's going to automatically roll a disadvantage if you want to try to attack him. Or you can try to escape with your action. Okay, I'll try to escape. All right, so you can make either an acrobatics or athletics check your choice. Ooh, all right. Unfortunately, you're wiggling and squirming, but it's got a pretty good grip on you. Okay. All righty. Uh, this ship is going to start to lurch forward. 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Uh, the pirates over here um, are going to hold some actions. Actually, they're going to take the dodge action. They're kind of like staying low so as to not get sniped. Um, this guy is going to... Ooh, okay. You guys watch as this individual at the helm of this sort of ominous ship kind of takes a staff and slams it on the ground you hear a low boom of thunder and all of a sudden it sort of gets 
starts to get a little darker above you as you notice a massive thundercloud appears and he reaches up with the staff and pulls down. He's going to cast Call Lightning. <laughs> Where is this guy? He's on the ship with those pirates? He's is that... way over here, yep. Uh, so I need Cricket to please make me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 13. All right. You hey. manage to dodge out of the way as a lightning bolt strikes the mast right next to you. Um, you're still going to take... Do you still take half on the... I believe you do. Let me just verify. Uh, or half so, on a... but... Yes. So you're going to take yeah. uh, four points of lightning damage as you kind of dodge. Static shock strikes you. Um, it also completely fries the uh oh no she'd she'd be smart enough to just target you okay okay yeah so you take four points of lightning damage and there's still that thundercloud above you uh cricket it's your turn okay i have a question I'm so sorry. I'm like looking at the boat where is that guy like i don't see him on this other boat is he like somewhere Ooh, on the because like i'm so zoomed there. in i just don't know way down uh, ah yeah. okay <laughs> Uh, their their self. Okay, got it. Um. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, give me a second here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Um. The guy in front of me is still up, right? Yeah, he's still up, looking pretty hurt. And is the boat to the south coming closer, though? Towards you. Ramming speed. Okay, it's still moving towards Ooh. us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Uh, I'm going to take a... Uh, at uh, the guy still left in front okay. of me. I'm going to do it with the... I don't know if the Shadow Sickle works at full capacity right now. You said that it was cloudy in their store. I don't know if it's... Yep, you're know. good. You're good. Okay. I'm going to try to just do the uh, shadow uh, uh, sickle on him and see if that'll work. All right. Go for it. So add advantage. And I'm uh, uh, using the blade that I activated. Yep. So. All righty. 23 will hit for 15 points of psychic damage. Yeah. You just like in one fell swoop, just like fillet this creature and it drops Yarin and falls off the mast the tentacles awesome. are still okay. kind of like writhing around and flailing in that weird sort of like muscly way that they do but they do release crn okay and then as a um bonus action for myself i'm gonna drink a potion okay go ahead that's 2d4 plus two while you're doing that uh, the skeletons are uh, going Okay. And uh, sorry, I, I just got the six, and that's I was just letting you know that's the end of my turn. Okay, beautiful. Uh, this ship is going to move awfully close, guys. <clears throat> um, this skeleton's gonna move up and is gonna take a shot at Admiral. Normal shot. It's a 12, so that just bounces off. Uh, these skeletons over here are going to take long, lobbing shots. Yeah, that's a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, one towards Selena. Uh, it's a natural one. And one towards Chameleon at disadvantage. Uh, it's a six on Chameleon. Uh, Lucky, you are up. Oh, beans. Um, you're still late. inspired. I love it. I love it. Um, ooh, that's pretty far. But okay. Um. Oh, Cobalt owns still have thirty speed. Okay. Um, I am going to move. Try to get a little bit closer. Um, I. 
apparently cannot select my eye anymore. Oh, oh uh, no, there we go. I yep, am uh, silly. Yes. There you go. So, <laughs> um, and I'm going to try to take a crossbow shot at uh, that skeleton. All righty. Go for it. Hey! Ooh, hey. Yeah. Ooh. You, the arrow, the, the bolt flies through and just perfectly, like, what is that? What is that famous shot where he shoots the the, the rope and the guy falls off the the gallows? Just takes his head clean off, and you see the skeleton just crumble, and you see the boat actually also start to rock out of the way as well. Ooh, very cool. Uh, and that. Is gonna be I'll uh Yeah, that'll just be my whole turn because I use all, all right. my movement. Alrighty. Admiral's gonna kinda start snarling and yowling and she's gonna run leap over here and get to the other side of the boat and she's gonna hold an action. She's kinda like pointing, growling towards the ship that's coming. Uh Chameleon, you are up. All right, um I'm going to kind of follow suit. Okay. Uh, can I use my bonus action to dash with a... Uh, uh, yeah, you're a rogue. I think it is. Yeah, cunning action. Just making sure. Yep. Um, so I'm going to use my bonus action to dash, and I guess I'll have to make some type of check to jump across. Yeah, so that's going to be an acrobatics check. All right. How bad did I do? Ooh. Uh, are you s jumping across or are you swinging across? Jumping. Okay, so <laughs> you're going to jump in the depth of the wet with all the fish guts and blood and water and everything. So you're going to fail forward. You fall. I need you to make me a strength saving throw to try to latch on to the side of the ship here. Oh, no. You <laughs> are in the drink. You nice. are... You are now swimming. Okay. Um, so that's your full movement. You're now treading water, <laughs> swimming in the middle of the ocean, and you're going to start on the beginning of your next turn. You're going to start to get swept away. Fun times. Oh, God, I've heard cats don't like water. Oh, no. Cat down, cat down. Wait, I haven't, I haven't used my uh, action, have I? Uh, no, you have not. All right. Um, can I tell which way the water's flowing? Uh, yes, it's flowing this way. Little bitch. Um, I, don't I guess I'm gonna take my chances. Okay. Oh, that'll wrap up my turn. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, top of the round, Selena's gonna move over. She's gonna swing across. That's what pirates fucking do. Twenty fours. So that was five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, and she looks at Admiral. And she kind of goes, are you ready, girl? And Admiral kind of nuzzles. And they are going to use a combined ability um, that Selena has picked up on her adventure. She's going to use Packmaster's Howl. Um, so once per long rest, they both simultaneously let out this massive howl. And I will permitting all allies to get advantage on any creature within five feet of her that is hostile for the next minute. So if oh. it's next to Selena, you guys have advantage on that for the next minute. Nice. Actually, it's Selena or Admiral. That's really okay. cool. And they howl in unison. Okay. Um, Luce, you are up. All right. I'm also going to try to swing back over to the ship. All right, ship. go ahead and make an uh, a acrobatics check with advantage. Ooh. All righty, so at advantage, that's a crit, so you do manage to make it over. All righty, you still have a bonus action and... And uh, full action. I think with my action, I can use 
moonbeam on a different so you can move moonbeam let me let me there's only two. i think it's 120 feet bonus i think it can only move 30 feet on your turn though um so once it's cast sorry my um you can use an action to move the moonbeam 60 feet in oh, any 60. direction. So that's pretty far. Oh, Can dang. I actually draw you a moonbeam real quick? Uh, what color do we want it to be? We'll make it this nice purple color. Um, so the moonbeam was here. Oh, I didn't come out that purple color. What the heck? All right. So this, uh, get out of here. Get, oh, I oh, moved the boat. Oh, boy. Okay, so you got the moonbeam there. It's the red box and the purple box because I suck. So I, I guess I'll just move it as far out as I can. Okay, so here, right there. Okay, just kind of dragging it across the deck. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that's your action. You still have a bonus. I am going to be all set. Okay, cool. Ciaran, you are up. Kind of thudding, landing on the deck, peeling off the the tentacle still on you. Um, you have your full action, your full movement. Um, can I cast um, Bardic Inspiration on Cricket? Okay, so Cricket, I'm going to give you a nice little purple. There you go. That's your bonus action. And then I'm going to use my movement to move back onto the ship. Okay. If and I can. Let's see. Is that falling again? <laughs> no. So you've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. So you can get like right up here. I need you to make me an acrobatics check with advantage. Uh, easy enough. Yeah. So you can get right onto this grating here. Boom. Swinging across. Why my game is glitching out one? <laughs> it's okay, I got you. <laughs> All right, so right about there. And then you still have your full action if you'd like to use it. Uh, I don't think you can actually use it on anything, so. I'll just... um, yeah, targets are a little far away right now. Yeah. Uh, so you can hold an action and wait for a trigger. You can take the dodge action to kind of go on the defensive. Okay. Um, I'll just take dodge action. Okay, so kind of getting down low, watching out for any arrows heading your way, dodging out of the way. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right. Uh, this ship's going to move 30 feet. Everything on it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, getting close. Um, the swashbucklers are... I already called you out in that, so... <laughs> Call me out, Bubba. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, swashbucklers... Actually, it was a long as you on the phone. <laughs> They're going to move up. And they're going to throw a couple of daggers. Oh, um, so they've got three daggers each at disadvantage. So we're going to go three at Admiral, three at Selena. Um, that's a 12. That's a I 16. That's a 12. And against Selena, we've got a 16. What does Selena's AC? Selena's got an AC of 17. So that's a 16. That's a miss. Uh, it's a eight and a seventeen. So one of them does get through and nick Selena for eight points of piercing. And you kind of see her like touch her cheek, and just like there's a little bit of blood that paints on the neck. And she just looks, and you just see this look of absolute fury. And she just starts to growl, and you see Admiral start to growl and just share. They're both baring their teeth. She looks fucking pissed. All right. Kraken Priest is going to go. He's still yeah. all lightning. Um, he's going to take his staff and slam it onto the deck of the ship, and a bolt of lightning comes down 
And Loose, I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw, please. Ten is a failure. Oof. Ooh. That's not good. All right. As a bolt of lightning comes down. Good. Uh, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> 18 points of lightning damage. Well, I'm at negative four. Okay, you drop. Oof. No! Okay! okay. <laughs> Alrighty, that's the Kraken Priest. Um, I just want to clarify something with you first, Luke. My cloak okay. says nothing about attunement. Is that correct? Uh, which cloak is that? Uh, cloak of uh, Montebec. I guess how you say that? Mount Montebec? It's technically, but I got it on. As a, it says cloak on my thing. It is cape of the. Thank you. Um. um yeah. Does says not nothing. require. Yep, does not require attunement. Okay. Cricket is a little freaked out right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's gonna uh, yell down. Um. Uh, cool. Cool cat, can you get out on your own? You I mean, just kind of hear Chameleon like gurgling from the water. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. I mean, cool. okay. like you can see right now. These waves are, there's, there's some pretty serious swells here. So this, this is and he's, the, he, uh, uh, how, you're, you're tabaxi, like you're tall, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly tall. Okay. Um, Comparatively. Uh, seven one to be exact. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I really hope I roll well is really what this comes down to. <laughs> oh my god, are you going to do what I think you're about to try to do? I'm going to run down to here on the mast. Okay. Jump into the water as close to him as I can and give him my cloak and say, Get us the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh shit, okay. <laughs> you just like come and like jump and try to like wrap around him. Okay. Yeah. I'm diving oh, in the water after him and seeing, a, seeing if he can, since just, it doesn't require yeah. attunement. You're right. Uh, go ahead and make me an acrobatics check as you're just diving, swan diving, James Bond style into the ocean here. That's oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, not uh, bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> you're swimming, um, and as you land, just the shock of ice cold water hits Ooh. you and the taste of brine. It's very, very Ooh. unpleasant. And as you're just reaching out, I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw just to see if you can like latch on to a uh, quick handed chameleon. Okay, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> you are inspired. Don't forget about that. You have that yep, one. Yep. Oh, right. that's not bad. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Keep that in mind. Um. Right. So, yeah, I put it. I wrap it around him as my action because he's bigger than I am so he can transport me but I can't do it the other way around and All get right. the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the end of my turn. <laughs> All right. Skeletons, you watch as this ship actually uh, doesn't back up like that because that'd be silly, but it does spin slightly and start to kind of head in that direction. Uh, these two skeletons are going to take shots at Admiral and Selena. Uh, so one at each, the one at Admiral is a miss. And it's like okay. Uh, Snacks, you're up. Beautiful. Um, all right. Uh, oh boy. Um, uh, there are there ropes on this side too to be able yeah, to swing sure. over. Okay. okay. Um, then I'm going to attempt to swing over back to our ship to get next to a loose there. Okay. Um, so go ahead and make an acrobatics check at advantage. Yeah, easy enough. You swing right across. Cool. Um, and then using my action, I'm going to feed her a potion. All right. So that's 2d4 plus 2 back to loose. Oof. Eesh. 
kind of a not, not the best. You as you like come in hot in the lean, you actually kind of like just like drizzle and like spill <laughs> most of the potion, but some of it gets in her mouth and she's she's conscious. I, That's something I, think really I, did. And I apologize. Oh boy. Um and then uh let me quick little idea of distance here. Um now um lightning. Sorry, that was ooh, scary. Uh, um, ooh, sorry, my house is shaking. Thunder. Um, how much movement did that take? Uh, I still have 10 feet. Okay, I will yeah. just do another 10 feet that way. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, and that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Admiral is still growling, still angry, but she realizes that with the arrows coming in, her not being able to quite get there, she's gonna instead take the dodge action. This turn. She's a smart popo. Uh chameleon, you are up. So cricket dove into the water next to you. You just feel the splash and then just this like wet fabric wrap around you, and you hear gurgling out just like get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so for the sake of simplicity, I'm not gonna go adding her entire item, but what does what does it entail so to me? So you get to cast Dimension Door, so you can move 500 feet to any spot with Cricket. Alright, so I'm gonna do just that. Okay. And uh, I mean, if you want to put us on the other boat, too, I'm cool with that, man. <laughs> like, whatever you want to do. 500 I'm feet. I'm debating because yeah. I want to go stealthy, but it's gonna be hard just given the circumstances. Yeah, so almost, pretty much anywhere on this map. You should take a crack at it. You already know what I'm thinking, don't you? You said 500 feet? Yeah, Dimension yeah. Door, baby. The fourth level spell. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do this without consent because I got given the cloak, but um, all I'm saying is that's definitely within 500 feet. Yeah, no, I, I like, uh, I mean, I just said get us the fuck out of here, man. Wherever you take me, I'm along for the ride. And as a... At, Player-wise, totally cool wherever you go. I don't even care. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, me and Cricket are going to land on the very top of this mass. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. And as soon as we land up there, uh, does that take an action to cast? It does take your action. It does. Cast. All right. So um, I'm basically going to try and hide myself in the sails to where, like, when we appear, they only see Cricket. Now, okay. how effective my stealth check, I guess, will determine that. Yeah, but we'll see what happens. Essentially speaking, I'm going to try and make it look like Cricket's the only one up there. Okay, go ahead and roll stealth as your uh, your bonus action. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, the thing about Dimension Door is there's, like, literally, like, a <laughs> poof of smoke. And so, everyone just watches as you appear and immediately drop and duck. And you're, like, hanging from the mast behind the sail. But the thing about the sail is that there's two sides to it. So the Kraken Priest doesn't see you, but everybody else on the ship sees just you look like a jackass. So you're hanging there. Cricket definitely, like, raises an eyebrow. I'm not sure what you were trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oblivious to what you were trying to attempt. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Alrighty. At the top of the round, through the fog, guys, another ship comes. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. All of you folks are going to move here. And I need to add you back to the initiative roll. So you get a fresh initiative roll at a nice fat one. Beautiful. Okay. Um, yeah. Selena's going to kind of look and you just hear, just, oh, fuck me. Um, she's going to reach out and pull out what appears to be like this tiny little metallic object and just go, just like a little whistle, and that is her action. Uh, Luce, you are up. So you're on the ground, but conscious. Tap your movement to stand up. And also, Moonbeam gonna... would, moon would have went away because you fell unconscious. Ah, dang. Yeah. I'm going to use a health potion. <laughs> okay. Bonus action. Kitty, you got to get out of here. Come here, baby. I know. Oh. She said she's tired of doing your dishes. 
Help that nice. Well, and then I'm going to, I guess I'll move All 15. Right, so right? move it. Yep. Go right here. Okay. And oh, did I lose you guys? Still there? I, I'm You're still there. I'm, I'm okay, here, cool. yeah. Did we lose Graceless? I think we might have. Okay. I think the stream also uh, dropped. Yeah, I my guess. stream did drop. Yep. All right, yeah, okay. I froze okay. on me. We'll take a quick little technical difficulties break. Okay. What's like the generic? When it seems like all is lost, when it feels as if you have no hope, when you are outnumbered, overpowered, and they've got you cornered, that's when you realize your last best hope is you. Halo, Combat Evolved, rated M for Mature. Seven Up would like to give you a gift of holiday cheer. Just clip four proofs of purchase from two liter bottles of any refreshing Seven Up product, take them to Toys R Us. And for just $19.99, you get the new spot game back for Nintendo Game Boy. A $5 savings. Just in time for Christmas. Put them up in your holiday and make the season bright. Now Don't drink that stuff! You're in training! Where's the caffeine? Good thumb control, nice foot placement. Only two cracks for that digit? Are you even practicing? Trust is part of the game! Ah! Element of surprise. Falling! Oh, can't find the new PlayStation 2? Get to Blockbuster. They've got new PS2 systems and games for rent. Why do I even bother? Blockbuster! Are you game enough? Didn't pre-order? They got you covered. They don't have it. Trying to find the Nintendo games you want can be a lot like being in the Nintendo game. Another dead end. Come on, you can end up looking in all the wrong places. Oh, no. Stand back, son. Or you can go to Toys R Us. Toys R Us has the world's biggest selection of Nintendo games and accessories at everyday low prices. Next time, let's just come to Toys R Us. Something's gone wrong in the happy-go-lucky world of Nintendo. Introducing Super Smash Brothers, where all your favorite characters go toe-to-toe -to -toe in one four-player star-studded slam fest, only on Nintendo 64. From Sony's PlayStation come the greatest hits, all your old favorites. Like the soft sounds of swarm and missiles. And the gentle crack of Sophia's breath. Even the hilarious antics of Sweet Tooth, that lovable clown. All for just $24.99 each, but wait. Is more? Oh. That's right, the PlayStation is a mere $149. And you can also get leading titles. Like Crash Bandicoot and Jet Moto. For just $49.99 and less. You are not ready. Couldn't get enough of it. You ate Nintendo. You drank Nintendo. You slept Nintendo. Now Toys R Us has two hot games for Super Nintendo. Capcom Street Fighter 2 and Nintendo's Mario Paint, where you can draw, paint, and even compose music. Check them out at Toys R Us, the biggest video game store in the world. So now you can breathe Nintendo, love Nintendo, be Nintendo at Toys R Us. Thank <laughs> you.
So I met this girl. I asked her to dinner in a movie. She asked, what do you have in mind? So I said, Make it a blockbuster night and a border night too. Go to Taco Bell, buy tacos or burritos and a medium drink. Get a free blockbuster video. Number one rail and Taco Bell food. Make it a blockbuster night and a border night too. Get a coupon for a two-for-one blockbuster video rental when you buy food and a medium drink at Taco Bell. Cross the border. Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. Pack up your stuff. I got a little surprise for you here. Check it out. What do you think about that? You got real time, 3D, lush organic environments. How's that make you feel, buddy? Feel a little like your days are numbered? I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You're hurting my elbow. Is that Italian? No, Bandicoot. It's an Australian name. Uh, excuse me, Miguel. But your war vanishes me. Hey, Sarah. Whoa, Ozzy, you reek. You know I reek. I've been playing so many games with my games freedom pass, I have had zero time to shower. <sighs> no extended viewing fees with your Games Freedom Pass. Ramp by, game your way at Blockbuster. Sweet, we're closing early. Kids, I'm home! <laughs> I sure did! Funbox! It's the new Xbox original variety Funbox, now with all new games and platinum hits. Wow! Sonic Riders of Major League Baseball 2K6! Star Wars Battlefront 2? Stacked! Need for Speed Underground 2? Can we have some now, Mommy? You ruined your dinner. You can't eat them, Mom. Or can you? Oh. <laughs> Rated EDT. Finding a phone in a car isn't that unusual anymore. Except when it leaves the car. For greener pastures, the high seas, or a leisurely lunch. Radio Shack keeps you in constant communication with their affordable, transportable cellular telephone. Hello? Oh, yes, he's right here. It's for you. Yes, I heard about the merger. 500 shares. The affordable, transportable cellular telephone. Only at Radio Shack. Today's assignment, photograph the elusive Pokemon. How do you do it? You're gonna be fast. Ah, missed him. And you better be good. Ah. Great pictures. That's the name of the game in Pokemon Snap. You can go to a participating Blockbuster store, print out your best shots, grab an entry form, and mail it to Nintendo's Take Your Best Shot Contest. The best shot wins an Australian safari for four, and there's lots of other great prizes. Ah. Many will enter, few will win. Hang on, it's gotta be fun! Pokemon Snap, take your best shot. There's a million toys at Toys R Us that I could play with. For the hottest arcade games in town, come to Toys R Us. Sega's new Genesis system with 16-bit graphics processor, controller, and altered beast game, just $289.99. And Sega's Master System, just $144.99 after $10 rebate at Toys R Us. I want to be a toy... Some of you believe your system is the most advanced in the universe. Let's review the numbers. Sega Genesis is 16 bits. 3DO is 32 bits. The Atari Jaguar is 64 bits. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Hmm? With 64 bits, 3D graphics, real world animation, and lightning speed that you can only get with Jaguar. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Can you repeat the question? Jaguar! 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 <laughs> Petty calls it hot, deliciously hot. Rob DeMars raves, it's spontaneous consumption. It's a story of heat and redemption. From the creators of the Domino's Heat Wave, an epic author. Order a deliciously hot Domino's pizza. Get a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video when you rent another. Hot Domino's pizza, a hot movie from Blockbuster Video. If you can't take the heat, get out of the doorway. Now get two medium pizzas with up to three toppings for $13.99. Domino's, delivering a million smiles a day. Games Warrior, begin! Leap in for your day in Circuit City! Plug in and save on Venus and Butthead! Save on Mortal Kombat 2! Save on Donkey Kong Country! Become a Game Warrior! Buy one game and get five dollars off the second! Remember the name for your game, Circuit City!
Blockbuster Video has all your favorites for the holidays, like Sonic and Knuckles from Sega. Take on Sonic and Knuckles alone, and you can plug in Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 into your Sonic and Knuckles game for entirely new adventures. It's Sonic and Knuckles from Sega, now at Blockbuster Video. So the boy fell asleep in the Toys R Us store, and he woke up with toys from the ceiling to the floor. We got the Nintendo Action Set, including the control deck with double game pack and zapper light gun for just $99.99 at Toys R Us. And we have all the hottest game cartridges at great everyday low prices. Love growing up with my Toys R Us kid. Toys R Us. You'll never outgrow us. Play. Love the skin you are in by Nintendo GameCube Born to Play. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. We had kind of a, I guess, a, a predetermined wait for us. We got some crazy weather going on here. It was like legitimately orange outside a couple minutes ago. It was scary. But uh, we appreciate you guys hanging around for the break. Um, remember to stick around at the end of the stream. You always get your Twitch chat favorite vote. That person gets an extra tea leaf point. And uh, we're going to hop right back into this crazy chaos that is this session. All right, so I believe we left off with Luce getting up, chugging a health potion, walking over to the edge of the deck, kind of looking out next to Selena. You still have your action, I believe. You have not taken an action yet. Now, I can't use Wild Shape, right, because that is a bonus action, and I've already used that. Correct. I can hold a spell, then. Absolutely. Hold an action. Yeah. Right. So you can hold a spell. Just know that if it's um, a first level spell or higher, and you don't get the trigger, the spell slot gets consumed anyway. Huh. Kind of the okay. risky part well, of holding spells. But it's your I'm call. still going to do it. <laughs> okay. What would you like to hold? I'm going to hold absorb elements. I believe that's a react. You know what? You're right. Never mind. Yep. I so should have used that before. It's all good. The lightning just yeah, comes so fast, you know? It just, uh, it, you didn't yeah. really have time to react. But next time, next time. All right, so. All right, I'm um, good then. Okay. Well, you still have an action, so you can take the dodge action and kind of get low. Um, you can hold a different spell, whatever you'd like to do. Can I hide? Or just duck? Yeah, you can actually take the hide action. Go ahead and make a stealth check. Uh. All right, you you hide real good. You, you are you are the knight. Okay, you just like a little I antler pointing did. out. Or okay, alrighty, beautiful. So that concludes Luce's turn. Crn, you are uh, you're no longer dodging. Um, how much how much damage does Luce have? Uh, Luce took a health potion, so I think she's looking. Okay, right? I'm dead. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> I mean, I thought she was at like half health. I just... Full, full display. Ish. Probably ish. Less. No, dear. My health potion was really bad on you, yeah. so... I, I guess I'm... Can I move over to her and heal her? Absolutely. I don't know why my thing isn't working today. It's okay, I got you. So you walk <laughs> right up next to Luce. All right. Um, uh, 
I think it's lagging. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, nice. Max heals. So, <clears throat> Luce, you take an extra 11 health. SCR kind of puts a comforting hand on your shoulder, and you feel that healing energy tend to some of your wounds. Thanks. All right, and you still have a bonus action, CRN, if you'd like. To. And then I'll um, cast Inspiration on her, too. Oh, excellent. There you go. So that's your last Inspiration, but mm -hmm. um, I believe all three people still have their Inspirations. So remember to yep. use those guys. It makes a difference. Okay. Uh, and that concludes CRN's turn, I believe? Uh, yeah. All right. The boat comes with ramming speed. Nope, nope, that's not what I want to do. Just this one. <laughs> it gets a little finicky with all these tokens. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You'll hear this huge impact, and I need everybody aboard the, um, the She-Wolf to make me a strength saving throw, please. Oh, great. All righty. Ciara, you stay on your feet. Um, Snacks, you stay on your feet. Okay. Luce, you stay on your feet. Um, Selena is going to make a strength save. She stays on her feet. And Admiral is going to make a strength save. She stays on her feet. So despite the impact and the sudden lurch, um, you manage to stay on your feet. The swashbucklers are going to move. They are quite fast. They're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and get right up here. And he's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Selena, and he's going to make uh, three attacks uh, against Selena. One with the, uh, two with the rapier. That's a 17 for 12. Uh, sorry, this is a lot of clicking for me. Uh, second rapier attacks a 19 for another 5. And the last uh, offhand dagger attack is a 15, which misses. The second one's going to move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And it's going to come... Um, actually, I'm sorry. As a reaction, as he makes his attacks, Admiral is going to use her reaction to bite this guy for hurting the master. Ooh. She's at advantage. Because she's a good, loyal pup, and that's a fucking crit. Oh. All right, so this guy takes 13 points of damage and has got to make a strength saving throw. Uh, fails and is knocked prone. But as Admiral's tearing into this one, pinning him to the deck and sort of like death rolling him, this one sneaks behind and is going to try to stab the puppy three times like an asshole. Uh, so three attacks. First rapier attack is a miss. Good. Second one is a miss. Good. And the dagger does get in for eight. Ooh, Admiral's taking some damage. Okay. Um, that is their turns. The skeletons are going to look up towards you guys up top, and they're going to take a shot each. So one shot at Cricket. Cricket, that's a 22 to hit. Okay. <laughs> So that's, uh, I mean, points. yeah. <laughs> and then I at, guess. At, uh, <laughs> how, how many? Three to Cricket. Three. And Thank to Handed Chameleon, that's a 19 to hit. So that's five points on Chameleon. And it is Cricket's turn. You're up on top of the, the basically like in the, the crow's nest up here. Okie dokie. Um... Can I do, I mean, I gotta say it this way. Can I do some monk shit and try to launch myself at this guy or close to him? Because I want to strike at him with so the sickle well, that like, I still have. Full on, like, like Avenger style, jump off the mass of this ship and punch this guy in the face. I'm not going to try to punch him. I'm trying to use my sickle for right now. Oh, like, come down on him. Like, full on Gandalf yeah. against the Balrogs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go for it. Yeah. Make me an acrobat. What do you need me to Okay. Oh, oh beautiful. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and make that attack with advantage. Yes. Okay. Oh, All right. No. The 13 
hits. This guy is Does it really? Oh. wearing like wet, damp cloth. So you come nice. in and gear this guy for 12 points of psychic damage. Nice shot. Um, um he's and gotta I'm make... gonna... oh, sorry. He's got to oh, um, no, go ahead. he's gotta concentrate on um call lightning. Yeah. Which he does. Okay. Okay. And um, because I've actually hit him now, I'm going to pump Fury of the Small into it. Okay, so that's an extra three points. Yep. Cool. And is he looking... Oh, I mean, how, like, is obviously I hit him, and it was tragic he for him. But... <laughs> he noticed you. Okay. <laughs> okay. And um, I am... Uh, going to spend, uh, Fury of the Small is just... That's just like a free... No, that's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, as my bonus action, I'm gonna hit him again with okay. my blade. Uh, so I don't know that you can do it with the blade... Oh. Um, I can if it's a it's considered because a, it's a weapon, light weapon. You're right. You're right. So and that's at advantage. So that's another fucking crit right there. Yeah, Ooh, baby. <laughs> All right, that's twenty nine points of psychic damage. Just a casual fucking stab. So like as you come down and jump off and stab him, he actually reaches up and grabs your arm, and so the blade kind of like pierces into his forearm for the first twelve, and then you do that fucking cool Arya Stark move where you like. Make yes. it disappear out of one hand and it reappears in the other and <laughs> shank him right in the stomach for the crit. He's definitely got to make a concentration check. Much harder to concentrate after that bad boy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, call lightning fades. The thundercloud sort of starts to dissipate. And yes. He, yeah. That fucking hurt. Um, and I am going to... Uh, can I spend a key point and take patient defense? Um... Because I haven't spent any yet. It was just a bonus action. Well, so or no, that's right. It's to, it has to be a bonus, right? You have to use the key point to use your bonus action. Well, yeah. still that fucking monk. crit. Okay. Yeah, monks are a little okay. technical. It's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, and then that'll be the end of my turn, though. All right. It's now his turn. He's pretty pissed. I was really hoping I wouldn't get the chance to use this ability. Uh oh. <laughs> You're right <laughs> there. Um. And here it he's is. Gonna, so he's got the staff in one hand. He reached out and grabbed you. So he lets go of you and he takes this like hand which is crackling with this like weird organic yeah. energy and just goes to like grab your face. He's gonna use his thunderous touch ability on you. That doesn't oh, sound fuck. good. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> you got a crit, uh, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't crit, but it's a fuckload of damage. What is Cricket's maximum health? Cricket's max is 25. Okay, then you're fine. Um, so that's a 20 to hit. Okay. And okay. as he just full-on grabs you in the face, you feel this bolt of this deep psionic energy. You're going to take 27 points of psychic damage. Ooh, yeah. I'm unconscious. Yeah, that's no bueno. Okay. That is his turn. Whatever, I got some good hits in. I went yeah. down swinging. <laughs> down swinging. Prepare the riots. All right. Uh, Lucky, you're up. You got some, some friends aboard. Jesus, I can't get up. This is so sad. Um, all right. Um, uh, cool. I really love all of this so much. Um, Gonna move over and just stab this guy for now. Alrighty, go for it. A 19 will hit, and you are not a rogue, so don't get sneak attack, but that's 11 points of piercing. Nice shot. Okay, he's still up. He's still up. Um, I'm gonna um, use. And okay, go for it. And uh, just just stab that guy again. Go for it. At advantage. Oh, I will use the Bardic Inspiration. Oh, hell yeah. There you go. So that's 1d6 you can add to that. Come on. 
Oh! That just hits. Fuck yeah. So that's nine, nine. points of piercing on top of that. 20 points in one round. Nice. Far oh. the best fucking class. They are the absolute best. All right. Hell yeah. Okay. He's still up, though. Still up. He's looking pretty hard. These guys okay. seem like a little, a little tougher. They seem a little... Oh, shucks. All right. That's my turn. All right. Admiral's going to go. Admiral is going to turn and bite the one that stabbed her. This one over here. Um, actually, no, she's not. She's because she wouldn't get pack tactics. She's going to go for the one that you just bit because she's a smart puppy and knows tactics. Um, she chomp. Oh, 16 points of damage on him. He's looking real rough. And he's got to make a strength saving throw to stay on his feet, which he fails, and he is prone. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, Chameleon, it's your turn. You just heard this, like, cackle, and you saw Cricket just get riggedy riggedy wrecked. It's pretty much, like... Chameleon gets pissed when he sees Cricket go down because he knows the only reason they're on that ship is because of his stupidity. <laughs> so, uh, did I use any movement speed using my teleport? How do you mean? Like, when I cast that ability, did it require me to use any of my movement last turn? Uh, yeah. All right, okay. Um, teleport some more. Am I still, like, about 10 foot in the air? Or am I... How, how big are these masts? About, like, 10, 15 feet. So you can just kind of, like, drop down. You'll be okay. All right. So I'm going to drop down. Yeah. And charge straight at the priest. Okay. And Cricket's small enough for me to take up the same space, correct? Uh, you can't really sh end your turn on the same space, but you can, like, step in and then move. All right. So I will drop down. Actually, grab my character. And, and for the sake of simplicity, I'll just go right there. Okay. And I'm going to longsword. Okay. 18 hits uh, for 17 because of that rockish audacity. Nice. And the rapier for another 10. Cool. Definitely trading blows, some cuts and wounds. He's bleeding profusely. Looking pretty rough. Finish him. <laughs> it would take right. an action or bonus action to grab Cricket, correct? Huh? It would take an action or bonus action to grab Cricket, correct? Correct, yeah. Alright, um... For safety's sake, though, I was like, what, there? Yeah. I guess I'll just try and get out of melee range so he can't grab me like he grabbed her. All right, he is going to get an opportunity to attack. No, he will not. Well, so you've used your bonus action for your offhand attack, so you do not have the bonus action for disengage. There's a, uh, what is it? Which one of the, one of, fancy footwork? You're right. Fucking swashbuckler. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Come to your mistake, not mine. Fancy footwork, step out of the way, dancing. <laughs> Man, okay, yeah, he does I not. Got a hair. Yeah, I want to ride the Selena. Okay. Fucking, fucking swashbucklers are dirty. Okay, beautiful. Shit, man. Okay. Uh, this boat, the sea spawn, are coming. They're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, and apparently leave them all behind because it's cool. Um, all right, that's their turn. Top of the round, um, you see Selena kind of starting to look desperate, seeing the situation go. Um, she's kind of like, fuck, where are they? Okay. Oh. <sighs> Takes a deep breath. She's going to pull out the scimitars, ignite one of them, and go for some attacks. So she's going to attack at advantage, because this one's on the ground, uh, with the flame tongue scimitar. Uh, that is a 19 for... Uh, 16 points. And then she's going to go for the coup de gras with the offhand scimitar. Or no, she has two attacks. There's three attacks. Uh, so second one is a 20. So she just sticks it into his gut, takes this guy out. And then she's going to move 5, 10, 15 right up here. Kind of like 
pulling along the side of the rail with her offhand attack, uh, which is just the offhand scimitar, is a motherfucking crit. Uh, so that is nine points of damage on this bastard. Alrighty. Luce, you are up. Selena has taken that much damage. Okay. Good to know. So right off the bat, I'd like to use Wild Shape. Okay. What are you turning into? My a dire wolf. Uh what is the challenge rating of a dire wolf? One. And Which then... is Yep. Alright. So that's what I'm gonna be. Okay. Uh let me get you control. Be edited and controlled by Beautiful. So you should have that in your journal right at the top. And you are now a direwolf. An inspired direwolf. Fancy. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna. So I'm gonna move over to this guy where Admiral is. I guess I'll go to the other side. Okay. And I'm gonna bite this person right here. Cool, cool. Let me. If I can't. Hmm, it's not letting me click it the way it normally does. For the bite attack? Yeah. Eve. Just click on that word bite there? No? Yeah. There we go. Okay. I think my computer's just biting me. You have pack tactics as a dire wolf, so that's a 20 to hit. So he takes nine points of damage, and he's got to make a strength saving throw. Two wolves going at it, man. This is ugly for them. That's a 16 on the save, so he manages to stay on his feet. But you are now... Darn. Can I take the rest of my move action since I have 50 feet? Yep. And move over here? Absolutely. He's going to get an opportunity to attack. See how far I can go. Okay. So I went 25, so I can do another 25. Right up on the front of the ship there. Cool. He's going to take a swipe at you as you run away. Uh, that okay. is a 12 to hit, which misses the dire wolf. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that's it. Beautiful. Nice turn. Ciaran, you are up. Um, I'm going to move towards this this guy here so I can't see the lines but like right here okay kind of like tucking good. around behind Admiral nice yeah and then hit with my um <laughs> rapier and I just put my character sheet away because it I reloaded I'm sorry okay. no worries they could not move so this is a very graphically intensive map, so I do apologize. There's a lot going on. <laughs> I tried having like a dynamic lighting thing with the fog, and I was like, no, that's just. Gonna <laughs> no, I, I think I was just okay. bugged out because I'm fine now. It just it glitched okay. when I loaded. So right. the ten is unfortunately not enough to hit. As you go to stab, he like parries your rapier with his rapier, and he seems like a pretty capable fighter. Okay, that's it. Alrighty, it's now their turn. Um, so there is some serious structural damage to the She-Wolf as this boat has just rammed straight into it. Um, the swashbuckler is going to go, and he's kind of gauging the situation, looking around. Um, he's going to go for Selena because he can tell that he's in charge. And actually, I'm just remembering, your attack would have had advantage because of the uh, howl of the Packmaster, so that would have been four points. With the rapier. Yeah, because I forgot that ability was activated. Yeah. And I don't think it mattered anywhere else, but it was a cool ability. So he's going to make three attacks against Selena. Hi, kitty. Uh, so first rapier is 18. Second's a hit with a 22. Selena takes eight points of piercing damage. And then the offhand dagger attack is a miss with a 12. 
He's then going to uh, disengage 5, 10, 15, 20, and kind of come up in a flanking position on the dire wolf here. Skeletons are going to go. Uh, skeletons are going to pull out some short swords, and they're going to make two attacks against the dire wolf because you're nice and close. Uh, so first attack's a 20 for three. Second attack's a 22 for a total of eight points of damage on the dire wolf. And then Cricket, I need a death saving throw, please. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, that's one success. One success. Yeah. Oh, my God. The Kraken Priest's turn. The Kraken Priest is going to slam his staff on the ground, and he's going to use his voice of the Kraken ability. He speaks through a thunderous voice audible within 300 feet. Um, do any of you guys speak Primordial? I don't think nope. so. He mutters some phrase, I need everybody to please make me a charisma saving throw. Great. This is great. Everyone but Cricket, right? Oh uh, yeah, Cricket, you're you're unconscious. <laughs> Just check okay. it with no. Yay! Alrighty. Uh Luce, you are frightened of this guy. Uh Lucky, you are frightened. Uh, should, should I have made chameleon. my role as the dire wolf or as me? Uh, you should have made oh. it as you because your mental stats stay the same. Uh, then I did it as the wolf. So Okay. Should I, I re-roll? As, yep. All right, so you are not afraid. But uh, nice. Qu Quick Handed Chameleon and Snacks are both terrified of this creature. That is his action. Uh, so, Lucky, you're up. So, being terrified, you all of your attacks have disadvantage as long as you can see the creature and you cannot willingly move closer to it. Cool. Really loving that. Um, so I can definitely see him. Yeah. Um... Oh boy. Uh, well, that's cool. Um, I mean, I, I guess I can take I can take a crossbow shot at this guy. Sure. Uh, um, you're gonna be at disadvantage. Which would be just a normal hit because of the ally. Because of Pack okay. tactics, right? So yeah, just a straight shot. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. And then no choice is good. Hey! Ten. Nice shot. Oh. Oof. Lucky. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Um. And then I need to make Christmas saves for Admiral and Selena. I'm so sorry. Uh, Admiral just barely passes. And I was so close now. then. Selena fails. Selena is frightened. Um, uh, no, I... she's a halfling, but she's still frightened. Damn it. <laughs> ha Halflings get advantage on saving um, being fear. fear. Yeah. But yeah. It's only 12, no. so she's, she's still <laughs> yeah. turned. Um, yeah. And then, I, I mean, I can't move closer, but I can move... You can move parallel. Like, you know. parallel to my... I'll just move there. Okay. So I'm in a position to maybe cross over, but uh, All right. And that's it. Um, Admiral senses Selena's fear and is going to use her action to go underneath and scoop up Selena onto her shoulders and then is going to run and pounce. Oh, geez, I'm messing everything up. <laughs> Taking Selena with her and move there. Uh, Chameleon, it's your turn. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. They're gonna go all the way. Uh, Admiral's gonna take the opportunity attack from which he can't because he already used his reaction. No, he didn't. Um, yes, he did. No, he didn't. Um, so Admiral's gonna take one opportunity attack, which is a miss, and get here with Selena. 
Uh, two frames. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, Chameleon, it's your turn. Uh, so you okay. are frightened. <sighs> Let me do some measuring. What's the full, uh, like, what's the exact description of frightened? <laughs> uh, so the frightened condition is you all of your attacks have disadvantage while you can see the target you're afraid of, and you cannot willingly move closer to that target. But I, you said I could move lateral? You can move lateral, yes. All right, so theoretically, would I be able to attempt to pick up Cricket? Or would that be moving um, too close? I would say that's moving too close, unfortunately. All right, yeah, that's fine by me. Um, hmm. Got to keep it spicy, guys. Got to. Yeah, no, spicy. that's fine. Um, Thanks for trying, man. Thanks for trying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got 30. Oh... Let me see how big this spell is, because I know it's modified with a cloak. Where's Selena at? Uh, Selena is right on top of Admiral. Still terrified, but like clinging and like nuzzling in Admiral's fur, just kind of like trying to focus. Right. She can't be on top. Wait, so if I were to put... Could I overhang the web spell off of the back of the boat? I don't see why not. Alright, so with that being said, I'm going to cover the back 30 feet of the boat. Okay. As I run away. So basically, so run this, this way, this cast entire, that way. Just, just spray and pray. Yeah, it's a okay, cool. So rather than a twenty foot, it'd be a forty foot, but I'm hanging it ten foot off, so it doesn't hit Selena. Does that affect and cricket and web everywhere? It technically it, would affect cricket. It would, but I mean, she just needs to stand up right now. Whereas that guy, if he grabs any of us, we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm asking like there's no damage or anything. No. So he's Just gotta don't make hit it a... with fire. <laughs> so he's <laughs> gotta make the, the, the Kraken priest has to make a save, I believe, right? Yes. Alright, what kind of save is that? Cool. Matter of fact, let me just roll it. What did I just do with the sheet? Alright. Um each creature that starts its turn or enters them during its turn must make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, so at the start of his turn, he's gotta make a uh he's gotta make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. So if you guys want to go in there, consider this. Cool, cool, cool. I'm too scared to do though, so yeah. <laughs> All Oops. right. So um, as, uh, can I or wait, never mind. In my turn. Okay. The C spawn are going to go. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. Moving there. Forgetting them all again. Uh, they're coming in hot. At the start of the round, you guys see through the fog another prow of a ship begin to come. But this one looks a little bit familiar to you guys. And you actually, in the middle of this battle, you're not sure if you're going crazy because the front figurehead of this ship is definitely a phallic object that's definitely a penis and i need cricket actually cricket's unconscious so she wouldn't know <laughs> yeah none of you guys would recognize this uh but this ship enters the battle at a oh she's the initiative roll okay cricket recognizes it in her Yep. Dream state. <laughs> this is the uh -huh. demon's cock. All right. Selena is terrified, but she still from her back is going to slash out at a couple skeletons um, at this advantage. Uh, first one's a 19. So that's seven. Yeah, she just takes this one out. No big deal. 
Uh, the second one at disadvantage is only a 10. Oof. That's actually a miss. Okay. Uh, and then bonus action offhand scimitar attack at disadvantage is a 14, which hits for one little point. Yes. All right. Loose the direwolf. You are up. I'm going to bite the guy right in front of me. The skeleton. The swashbuckler? Or the skeleton? Yeah. Which one? And the one right in front of the direwolf. Like nice attack. The guy on the rope or the guy on the... Okay, the skeleton. All right. Yeah, the skeleton. They're both kind of like right in front of you, so I'm not really sure which one. Okay. Um, so Sorry. 21 will hit the skeleton for eight points. Nice. Uh, and he's got to make a strength saving throw. Uh, he fails. The skeleton gets thrown to the ground. Nice. That's really all I can do. Alrighty. Tiara, you are up. You recognize um, the flag on the sails as that same golden kraken, this 13 tentacled kraken in sort of a sunburst pattern as the same uh, flag that is flying on the she-wolf. Um, if I move here, can I still reach... Um... No, I can't. Can I move here? Yeah, you can kind of get over up. the edge. Yep, you can kind of like balance up on the edge. And then I can cast Healing Word. For... Just barely uh, in range, yeah. yeah. Uh, only five points. All right, but Cricket, you are conscious with five health. Cool, that was clutch. My God, she's so good at bringing people back from the brink of death. It's amazing. Oh my God. All righty. Anything else? Uh, that was no, your bonus a... action to cast Healing Word. Do you still have an action? Uh, oh, it is a bonus action? Yeah, Healing oh, Word is... is a bonus. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can really... I guess I could try and hit this person. Yeah, you could like Vicious Yep. All righty. Uh, so he's going to make a Wisdom saving throw. And fails. Takes two points of psychic damage. And has disadvantage on his next attack. Nice. Speaking of his next attack, it's his turn. Um, he's going to disengage from the dire wolf, run up, and is going to make three attacks. The first two are going to be at Cricket, or sorry, not Cricket, Snacks, and the <laughs> offhand dagger is going to be at CRN for insulting him. So the first attack <laughs> at disadvantage against Snack is a 21 at disadvantage. Oh, shit! Yeah. Yeah. So that's seven points of piercing. Great! Uh, the second attack against you at straight roll is a crit. Son of a bitch. Oh, uh, I'm... That's 12 points of piercing. Okay, I'm down. Okay. And then the offhand coming to Yaren with the dagger is a 20 to hit CRN. Okay. And that's eight points of piercing. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Now the Kraken Priest's turn. At the start of his turn, he's starting in the web. He's got to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, that's a natural 20. So he can move, although it's still difficult terrain. Um, he... He's going to Huh. Okay. He's going to cast Call Lightning again. And he's gonna drop the lightning bolt right on Admiral and Selena. So Admiral and Selena have to make dexterity saving throws. Uh Selena saves, definitely. Admiral definitely saves. So they're both gonna take half the damage. Uh, so they're both going to take 10 points of lightning damage. Ouch. You hear Admiral kind of starting to whimper a little bit. She's she's taking a lot of damage. Okay. And actually, Selena's getting a little low, too. Uh, that's his turn. Cricket, you are up. So 
Oh no, Cricket, you're in the web, so I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh no! All right, so you are prone and restrained as you kind of wake up and start thrashing, the web starts to stick to you. So you are restrained in the web. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh my god, um, I haven't taken any turn yet at all, can I try to get, how, what would it take for me to get out of it, what kind so of a check a would I have to full action do? to try to get out of the web, or you can attack at disadvantage. Oh, jeez, um, oh man. I will try to break the web. First. Okay, so full action. Uh, go ahead and make. Um... Actually, you know what? I will. I'm gonna try to attack him at disadvantage. All right, actually, go for it. with my radiant sun fists of fury. Go for it. All right, the mm. ten hits. Cricket. It does. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't do this cricket. Oh, oh, my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, awesome. Um I'm a tangled webby mess yep. right now. <laughs> oh my Woo! god. Okay. I feel like I feel like just lying there, like super like just anger starts boiling over. See that flash of light in the eyes and just strikes with everything she's got towards him and just hoping it works. And then the smoke Ooh. comes off her fists, singeing yeah. the web a little, but not enough to break it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. <sighs> As my bonus action, I'm going to use um, the uh, sickle, and I'm going to misty step. Ooh. Um, and I can't, I admit, I, no, I got to look at it. I want to say it's only like 30 feet, right? It's 30 feet. Yeah, 30 feet. I'm going to move, uh, let's see where. I'm like somewhere in there. Oh, yeah, I'm somewhere in there, I think. Right? Uh, where'd you go? I'm at sorry. 30 at uh, I'm like underneath Admiral, I think at this point. Yeah, that works. You can kind of right kind of okay. next to Admiral. And then I you just like miss I step and just like land in fluff. Oh, yeah, we're <laughs> friends. And uh and then I'm gonna I still have movement, right? I haven't taken any movement. Correct. And I'm oh gosh, I'm moving no, sorry. I got to move her to get myself. Oh, no, I can't so get myself. Go for it. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> and I'm going to move up. <laughs> I'm going to move up to this one. Okay. And um, I will. Can I spend a key point to do flurry of blows? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to try to, uh, with the Radiant Sun, just try one more time to hit something else because I'm a little bit mad. Hell yeah, go for oh, it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 23. Yeah, so you come in and just blast this thing, and that Radiant Blast just leaves behind ash. Yes! Nice. All right. Awesome. Smoke coming off my fists, and that's my turn. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, the skeleton's turns are no more. So, uh, Snacks, you are down. I need a death saving throw. Uh, oh, hey, guys. By the way, we have our viewer's choice live up right now. So get your votes in for uh, your favorite. Remember, if you're one of my players, all I ask is just don't vote for yourself. Person's going to get a bonus tea leaf point. Ooh, votes coming in hot already. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, snacks, that is a 10. on the, That's one success. Woo! Oh. All right. Better than a fail. Yep. Admiral is going to walk over with Selena to the edge here and just growl at this ship. Grr. Grr. She's so adorable. 
She's so adorable, you guys. All right. Uh, quick-handed chameleon, you are up. You're no longer frightened, because there's nothing to be frightened of. Nothing really in range. Uh... Yeah, not even close. Uh, I guess? Votes are coming in hot, guys. Well, I think this might be the most votes we've ever had. That's awesome. I guess I'll just make my way back to uh, as far back as I can. Up, yeah. All right, I'll stab him. All right. That's what I'll do. <laughs> it's creamy outside. Bluey in the middle. Right. First. All right. The 13 is unfortunately a miss. No. Yeah. And yeah, that's also that's also a miss. Oh. Alrighty. <laughs> you watch as the demon's cock comes. And sort of... <laughs> wow! That is golden. Somebody clip Wow. That. Uh, you watch as yeah. It it turns broadsides and you just hear this before three cannons shoot out and absolutely just annihilate this ship sinks it right to the bottom and you hear a voice call out and go hey short stuff heard you needed a hand all right selena kind of goes puts a hand up goes hey thanks ladies i knew you'd show up sooner rather than later fashionably late as always um selena's going to walk up kind of striding up and just pulls out her flaming scimitar and holds it up to this individual and just says listen buddy i think you're gonna come with us that's and... what she said <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the uh the swashbuckler drops both of his weapons and we are effectively out of combat. That was awesome, guys. <laughs> that oh, was a nice shot. Yikes. So Ow. <laughs> um, for successfully completing this contract, you guys are going to earn one tea leaf point apiece. You guys are going to earn 725 experience. And 700 gold. Oh! Ooh, buddy. In addition to that, we've got some magic items to go over. Um. Oh, yeah. Someone. Selena. <laughs> yeah. Selena would have helped Max. Don't worry. Aw. Aw, shucks. Selena actually didn't cast any spells. Um. Yeah, there's a cure wounds. With a sneak attack attached. Look at that. Oh, um, beautiful. <laughs> a sneak <laughs> here. Um, yeah. Get, oh, my God. The votes, guys. Get those votes in. Um, so, starting things off, we have some rollover magic items. So, we're going to go with those first. We're going to start with the Trident of Fish Command. Uh, it's a magical trident. has three charges. You can use one charge to cast Dominate Beast on a beast with an innate swimming speed. So it can work on crocodiles or snakes or all sorts of things, not just fish. Uh, remember, if you would like to bid your tea leaf points on this, the command is to type slash W space GM and then the number of points that you would like to spend. I pasted it in the Roll20 chapter for you. So... If you are interested in the Trident of Fish commands, please get your bids in now. Going once. Going twice. All right. The Trident of Fish command is going to roll over. And if I do go too fast and I interrupt you guys, please tell me. Um, I know I try to keep it a secret, but I've had people kind of whisper me in the past, like, oh, I wanted to bid on that, and then it gets complicated, so please don't feel bad, just interrupt me. I know it's kind of a weird system, but anyway. Try the fish command is going to roll over again. That is the third week it's rolled over, so if it goes one more week, something interesting might happen. Okay. 
The second rollover item is the Ring of Acid Resistance. It does require attunement, but it gives you resistance to acid damage while you wear it. If you're interested in the Ring of Acid Resistance, go ahead and get those votes in now. Going once. Going twice. Sold. We have, uh, for one point, the Ring of Acid Resistance is going to go to Quick-Handed Chameleon. So you can go ahead and just copy and paste that in your inventory somewhere, because I usually delete these at some point during the week when I'm prepping the next session. That is all That's yours, good. my friend. Nice. Uh, the last rollover magic item we have is the Helm of Telepathy. This one also requires attunement. But while wearing this helmet, you can use an action to cast Detect Thoughts. As long as you maintain con maintain concentration on the spell, you can use a bonus action to send a message to the creature that you're reading the thoughts. While focusing on the creature with detect thoughts, you can use an action to cast suggestion from the helm uh, once per day. Kind of a funky, mind-fuckery item. If you are interested in the Helm of Telepathy, get your points in now. Going once. Going twice. We have a winner, folks. For one tea leaf point, the Helm of Telepathy is going to go to Luce. So Luce, go ahead and just copy and paste that onto your uh, character sheet there. And that is yours. Nice, Luce. Fun. It's a fun item. It is yeah. pretty fun. Great. I can't wait to see how she uses it. All right. <laughs> the magic item from tonight's session Amongst all the ships as you're investigating, and it seems like there you searched the ships and there were a bunch of slaughtered whalers in here. Uh, so it seems like whatever pirates these were were some sort of Kraken cult. Um, uh, on one of the corpses, you guys managed to find a rather nicely made set of hide armor with like giant whale bones kind of as like the, the sturdy parts of it. Uh, this is the whaler's armor. It is a magical set of hide armor, so it is medium armor. This finely crafted hide armor was made specifically for whalers who were tirelessly in the night sea. Armor, magical armor gives you a plus one bonus to your armor class in addition to the normal benefits of wearing hide armor. In addition, while wearing this magical armor, you gain resistance to cold and fire damage. Any medium armor fans out there? Let's find out. If you are interested in the whaler's armor, go ahead and get those bids in Going once. Going twice. Ooh, interesting. All right. The whaler's armor is going to roll over. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Excellent job tonight, guys. Our viewers' chat's got maybe another 30 seconds in it. Get those final votes in, folks. Tonight was a freaking awesome session. A lot of action going on. Excellent job, everybody. That was a fun one, man. Thanks. That was really good. <laughs> that so, was many so many ships. I know. You guys got to fight alongside one of the members of the... Uh, um, you know, one of the members of the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company. Kind of different. That was pretty and cool, And tonight, yeah. um, viewer's choice favorite is Cricket. Cricket can have oh. a, a bonus daily point. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, so nice. Thanks, everybody. Tonight's DM favorite, I am going to award to Quick Handed Chameleon for some clever thinking, some fun use of magical items, some some risks. Making the best out of bad yeah. situations. That was awesome. Good nice job, job everybody. man. I'm really happy the cat didn't drown. I mean, okay. let's, let's, yeah, be, let's be real here. Also, Chameleon, I, I, I do take my cook back. <laughs> yeah, yes, no, that's fine. That's literally why I don't do any, like, any inventory management at that point. So, I've just been reminded, and on the fly, for whoever wants it, amongst the whaler's belongings along with the armor hush hush don't tell the boss don't tell daddy uh you guys managed to find an extra 75 gold apiece 
<gasps> Sweet. I'll take it. Won't say no. <laughs> Zach, little, little bonus for a little sneaky Selena. Nice. Alrighty, guys. I think that's just about everything. Um, we got our DM's favorite. We got the crowd favorite. We did magic items. We got experience. We got gold. The, the only thing that I would like to do before we end, if you'll allow it. We've got time. Um, is that Cricket is going to hobble her way over to Selena. <laughs> <laughs> now that <laughs> cause she's super low. And uh, she's just going to be like, so, so have I earned a hat yet? She kind of looks over and goes, hmm. And at this point, uh -huh. um, the two ships have kind of come, and you see uh, the Black Tide, Selena's pirate friends, come. And you meet an individual who um, you previously had not met, the leader of the Black Tide, known as Natalia. Let me make her big for you guys. Um, and Natalia kind of looks cool. and goes, Hey, babe, uh, my friend Cricket here, she wants in. She wants one of the hats. And Natalia kind of swaggers over, kind of looks down at Cricket. Very scantily clad, like basically almost like a pillowcase that just covers the naughty bits. And she's got this bright red hat with the peacock feathers sticking out. And the rest of her body, every inch is covered in tattoos. And you can see prominently oh, wow. displayed on the chest is the same emblem as the flag. She kind of goes, been a while since we've uh, recruited a new member of the Black Tie. <laughs> Tell you what, you're riding with Selena. Yeah. I'll consider it. Maybe okay, cool. Again. Yeah. I'm, we don't I'm... hand these things out lightly. Let me just say that. Okay. Yeah, I get it. That's cool. And you're gonna have to get the. Uh, and you kind of look, and all of the members of the Black Tide have that same tattoo on their chest. Yeah, kind it's really thing. pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's cool. Cool. Catch you later, babe. She saunters off back and kind of goes, well, our business is done here. Kind of snaps a finger and you see the crew of the demon's cock get to work managing the rigging. And she kind of like walks over to Selena, gives her a punch on the shoulder and says, hey, uh, next time don't waste our fucking time. And Selena just kind of goes, eh, fuck you. See you later. Love you, babe. So I love you too. And you guys part ways and sail back to Kate Oria. Yay! Yay! Yeah. 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 Back, like when everybody's kind of chilling. Off to the side, quick Ada Camille just asks Selena, he's like, so, normal mission, huh? How much of this did you actually know was going to happen? For fuck's sake, I thought we were just going to go kill some pirates. I didn't know they were going to be dead already. <laughs> As I kicked the dude that we captured. And this dude is just like, hasn't said a word the entire time. You guys can have some fun interrogating him in the, uh, the tavern chat if you'd like. Maybe learn a little bit more about some pirate lore on the Midnight Sea. This was my first time on a boat. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> boats, boats, boats. Boats, boats, boats. Alrighty, guys, we are going to raid Terrified Turtle, my, my game room hubby. Give him lots of love for me. Turtle's the man. Um, thank you, everyone, for hanging out tonight. We had a blast. Uh, stick around for next week. It's going to be a wild adventure for Shiana. We love you all. Stay safe. Have fun. See you next time. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Toodles.